He'll come out in order to be happy in this place, man. You know? There's stipulations that come with being happy in this place, man. You gotta be a weirdo. You gotta be a weirdo. Well, you, yeah, Bow you, down. You gotta go off. Bow down. You gotta break the laws of the commandments off your hour, all right, to please Esau. Sorry. And that's why you have to fear the Lord and not man. You can't right. fear the basis of all men you saw in Edom. All right, or Satan, you gotta fear Yahweh, man. Because guess what happens if you obey man? This is what happens, man. Destruction comes to you, uh, the harsh way, man. You know, not no, uh, not no easy death. But a lot of y'all think gonna happen. Oh, I'm just gonna die. That's what typical American thinks. They just gonna uh, roll over and die. You know what I'm saying? The time comes. Oh, I know, Mr. Sir, gonna come. I'm just gonna die. No, man. Glory said, man, you might have a heart attack before you die, man. Hey, what's up with them? Um, you got them Russian, AB, um, them um, secret service niggas, yeah. right? They going around the world doing bad. When they get caught, what they do? They take a cyanide pill, right? That's the spirit of Esau, right? You've been around the world doing all this fucking wrong, and you think when well, it's time for your judgment, oh no, I'm just gonna die. Right. Hell no, nah, man. I'm well, I ain't even trying to flee because of all these elites, uh, New Zealand and um, Australia. And guess what they've been being hit with, man? All sorts of natural disasters, man. The Lord is not playing right now, man. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Revelation nine, verse six, and in those days. Shall men seek death and shall not find it? Yeah, that happened in the past, but it's about to happen again, right? We're going to come to a time where, hey, man, you ain't going to be able to feed those little children in the house, man. God, right? God. The, 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 Lord, the Lord told you, wrong to him that gives suck in those days. Yep. And here you are, thirsty Dick Dave, right? Man, laying pipe and all these women having kids here and there. Or, or, or guess what? So I can have to cut you off. Oh, you good. Guess what else is uh, popular right now? That, that human meat, man. So guess what's going to come, man? Oh, they got man. all them babies in the crib. Time to uh, look, man. Julian over there acting up. Go ahead, boil that, boil that little motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? These are times we're coming to. Ruthless, ugly times, man. Boil babies. Yeah, come, man. Hey, the, the book of Matthew says, because um, iniquity yeah, shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You just, hey, man, police walk in on a black bitch trying to kill her baby, man. Mm. Right? Mm. You got a motherfucking um, daughter who killed her mother, and then they put the bitch, they, they barbecued the bitch in the pit. Nah, come on, man. Right? What about what about uh, Benjamin uh, found out that none of these kids? Kids was his. He Damn. cut the whole head off. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my and what God. about the other one who cut the pussy off and the head off? Yeah, man. he took her pussy, he cut her pussy off and her head off, yeah, man. man. Mm -hmm. That's the times we live in, it, man. Yeah, Don't nobody time. give a fuck about these goddamn women. You got to be a sucker to think about these goddamn women. The Bible yeah. told you right. um, of the beginning of sin, because of her, we all yeah. die, yeah. goddammit. Yeah. Yeah. Because of these fucking weak ass, worthless goddamn women here in Babylon the Great, man. And they fell off like bad dope. These bitches look like niggas, man. They stink. These bitches, man, they stink. They out of shape. They fucking loud. They don't know how to cook. All these bitches know how to do is throw shit in a fucking microwave, man. This is the lowest value of fucking women you ever seen on earth, man. All these low life ass American ass women, man. Out of shape, shaped like a fucking alphabet letter. All That's fucked right. up. Ain't nothing good about these hoes, man. Go ahead, bro. Revelation 9 and 6, and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. These are times to come in. Y'all think y'all just gonna be able to uh, 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 take on these things that's gonna come, man. Oh man, I'm just gonna go ahead, roll over and die. Wake up in the morning, roll over and die, man. No, it's not gonna come that easy, man. Right. Some of y'all uh, experience these, uh, these, these weirdo uh, transformation lifestyles, man. Speak, speak about how you're gonna hit a uh, 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 green. Uh, I'm gonna give you over the vile affections, man. Up the prayer place, man. Mm -hmm. And so, Rocky say, uh, basically, death is um, sweet to a bitter life. Ooh. Like a team of sickness, by the Lord say you're gonna dwell in torments. Yeah. Why? Because you then listen to his prophets, you then take heed to the correction. So, they judge it. And the correction is out right now, man. You know, the Lord's hand is out right now. When you see men of the Lord out preaching on the highways and byways, that means it's still time, man. And hey, what the Lord said, you have sat at none of my reproof. You will not listen to none of my counsel, man. Yeah. That's why the Lord said, I'm going to forget your punk-ass children, man. Them little baby-ass kids you got in the crib, man. Your motherfucking kid, 14 years old, can't read, can't count past motherfucking 25, man. Be ready to kill. But be ready to kill, yeah. Be ready to kill. He, he's a professional driller. Tyrone's oh, yeah. Fire. Yeah. That's what's going on, man. Yeah. And the movie, that's crazy. The movie's up, man. Letting you know, man. And some of y'all Jake just going to go in there and laugh and see. Now get the message, man. There was no comedy about this shit. Come on, this shit's real. It was man, yeah. yeah. Uh, truthfully, it reminds me of the movie that came out back in the day, similar to it. Uh, uh, no, uh, 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 Hollywood Squares. That was it. Hollywood Shuffle. Hollywood Shuffle. Kind of reminds Hollywood. me of that. Man. I feel. I see what you're saying. Because yeah. the whole thing was to get a nigga to promote, act a certain way, right, right, right. to fool the other niggas. Right. And especially uh, 
A lot of Jake ain't going to see the underbelly of the message, man. They just going to look at his comedy. We're not going to see as, uh, the, the message of it. Just like a, a simple movie as um, the movie The Charles always bring out um, when, when, when like you saw had Jake come by and his girlfriend was eating my what's the movie? I said, get, out, get, get out. Get out. Get out. Get okay, out. and you, you broke down the basis of it. Jake, uh, when it came out, I was working at one of these little Mickey Mouse jobs, man. And, and Jake came to me, man. Two or three of them came up to me, man. They all had the same questions. Like, bro, come on, man. Do you really think that this stuff is really happening like this, man? And I'm like, man, y'all niggas, man, y'all, y'all, y'all don't understand, man. Hey, what, what thing, we man. said the other night, a lot of young dudes don't don't realize, don't know what's going on, nope. right? And we understand why a lot of young men don't understand what's going on, because when you look at the educational system, it's not the same thing they were teaching us back in the days, man. Nope. Right? Right now they're teaching these kids about how to be a faggot. Yep. Right? How to um have sex, man, all type of weird shit. They not thinking about no history. Nope. They ain't thinking about no science, no mathematics, man. Nope. These kids don't know what the fuck going on in this society, man. And they teach them uh, about Satan. That's what they yeah. teach them. Yeah. And, and it's corrupting them. And it's the future posterity of America, you know? Right. Posterity. <laughs> hey, they said, I believe the children are the future. <laughs> Shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2nd Ezra's 9 and 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, like the brother quoted. All right? Because it's not going to be an easy way out. It's going to be a, a painful death, man, a slow, agonizing death. Verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, because the Lord, he makes it rain on the just and the unjust. Everything comes from the Lord, you see? Hey, 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 um, Floyd Mayweather's benefits are coming from the Lord, man. Yes, sir. Did yeah. Them hand, quick hands come from the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? That quick feet come yeah. from the Lord. Uh -huh. the, the million dollar payoffs come from the Lord. Him not being touched, him being able to go to society without, because when you think about it, Floyd ain't been sued for real. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he been untouchable. Come on, man. You know? Hey, he came out and said something about the Jews and they smoked his uncle. Then they mm. smoked his uh, ex-wife. One of the uncles got hit? Well, his uncle. I think, I think it was his father. Uh, oh, okay. Was his father. Then his ex-wife got smoked. Then yeah, they came out, yeah, yeah, this was like some time ago, but then he came out, he was like, I, I'm, I'm an Israelite, he'd say I'm a Jew or some shit, but then, you know, as a relatedly, he'd be getting that bag, so he, he renounced it, he said, I, I'm not black American, I'm an American, Ooh. you know, all that, all that Israelite Jew shit went out the window, though, but hey, that's that scripture, man, have received benefits, but have not known me, yep. hey, Jake rather uh, serve, he saw even the serpent playing white man, fear him rather than a heavenly father, the father of all uh, spirits. You see? Oh, yeah. And look at uh, Salaka. Look at uh, LeBron's son, man. LeBron right. is <laughs> suffering right now, man. The Lord gifted him as one of the richest dudes, even about to see his son playing the league with yeah. him. But guess what, man? He took that. You, you did. Hey, the Lord yeah, don't. Hey, the Lord is not a respecter of persons. Here he is, like, um, like two months ago, he got 999 tattooed behind his uh, his no. ear, uh -oh. which really is 666. Ronnie. Ronnie James. Then the Lord, you know, he gave him. I just took them jabs. Now his ass through. It's funny because he posted his other son today. He ain't post about the one that's you know fucked up. He posted the other son like my twin and shit. They was like, oh, uh, he just nah, said fuck about the other one. Hey, the other one ain't gonna go nowhere. Hey, up, up, up one, that next one up, man. Yeah. That nigga in the ICU up. drooling somewhere, Come on, man. Yep. Yeah. They think this basketball career about to start over getting shit. My man hurts right now. Uh huh. Look at Magic Johnson's son. Yep. Hey, but that's that second answer. That's that many great miseries. Everybody think they finna do this and do that. Nah, the Heavenly Father, he got a plan. You know, this ain't this day. This is the end right here, man. It ain't no, uh, it ain't no future. It ain't no things get better. It ain't no hoop dreams. It ain't no college. None of this. None of that. Hey, hey, it's the prophecies that you held by Shemuel Shai. You know? That was that hood movie, right? Hoop dreams. That yeah, shit was a demon. That was a demon, yeah. 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 Niggas yeah. seen yeah. that shit, man. Every nigga wearing the ball. Oh, yeah. Above the rim? Well, yeah. that was also a private movie because Cuz blew out his nigga, man. He didn't even get to make it up to the mm. real, man. Well, you see that in, in uh, they call him Tyrone because that's all an experiment. Exactly. To see how I mean, they make these movies to program program the minds of Jake's, you know what I'm saying, the neighborhood. Hey, hey, hey. The uh, producer of it, I, I put it in a groomy early. The producer of it, he was like, um, a nigga? Yeah, it's a nigga. Uh, the, the nigga that produced right. it, right? He said that, um, in the in the uh, thing, he, he said it's literally a champion. He said it's a um, I forget the word that he said verbatim, but he was like um, it's a um, it's like an enchantment. But he said oh, yeah, that, like so hey, and that proves that these that 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 all that that uh, Hollywood is is just a uh, like the elders said, Babylonian church, huh? Olympia Black. Yeah, that. Oh, that's oh yeah, exactly. But, hey, and they, they heard that shit, you start clapping. That's not the thing. Right. But like you were saying, man, they had on a little piece of um, yeah. And we gotta go to that Olympia Black, man. That means something, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. We gotta look that one up. But um, they used, um, back when we were coming up, 
You know what I'm saying? They used to use our rappers and put them in alcohol commercials all the time. Yeah. Right? Everything. Hey, 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 when you watch that movie, it start off, first off, it started with, with, with some Jake sitting out here drunk as hell, talking yeah. about some absolute folly that Tupac did. Oh, yeah, cut, cut. Yeah. Right? And then on the back, it says, keep them smiling. Yeah. And what yeah. did you do? Hey, this is keep them smiling because, hey, he's on the devil. You yeah. keep your mind polluted with, with Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, all this bullshit to have your, your mind on things that don't matter. It says it is better to go to the house of mourning than the house of peace, but that's the end of all men. Right. It says through uh, sadness of the, uh, the heart, the countenance is made better, roughly paraphrasing. Talk, but talk. Esau eat him. He knows this. He say, you know what, fuck it. We're going to keep they, they head, uh, keep them laughing. We're going to keep them looking at t uh, TikToks. And agreeable. And what, agreeable. What about when they ran out the club? And they was running from the base, man. He yep. said, hit the slow jam, man. Yeah. All of start jamming. It, it, yeah, he said, that champion. <laughs> oh, right, the circle. Yeah. 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 And remember Jamie Fox? Remember, you remember that song, I'm Happy? Oh, come on, man. That was a demon. And then a lot of the cats was dying. Oh, a lot of yeah, Jake was dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me right off that. that. Like, man, what the fuck are you so happy about? Man, them, them um, pig, yeah. uh, pig feeding them crew, good health and all. Oh, Straight catching them. I'm the happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it was giving them heart attacks, man. Oh, I, I got a preset. You got some more in there? I got a little more in there. Second Ezra's 9 and 11, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. Yeah, I hate the Bible. Why would I listen to the Bible? I got freedom. The white man gave me freedom. I could be a hoe. I could be a homosexual, right? That's what these motherfuckers thinking, right? I could be a criminal. Oh, I, I just killed the man. They'll let me out in two years. Hey, in the, in the eyes of the Lord, you kill a motherfucker, you got to be put to death. Yep. Right? <laughs> the Lord ain't dealing with a um, whole five-year sentence. You, come on, man. You motherfuckers is lucky you're not under the ordinances of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, that's why them niggas in Chicago getting smoked, because them niggas is murderers. Murderers, yeah, yeah. They think that they gonna kill a nigga, go put in a rap song. Then them demons come, they fucked up, and they yeah. smoke they ass. Hey, that be so high and drunk when that murder come on their ass, too, boy. That nigga pull up with a bitch in his car, he just got his dick sucked. They said, man, I've been following his ass for oh, damn near. 20 minutes looking at the stupid. Well, set him up. Yeah, right, looking at right, stupid right. motherfucker, man. Well, and then they want you to have sympathy for him. They want you to have sympathy for Ray Ray, who just shocked and terrorized the whole block, robbed Brady's and all. Went to go kill two or three of his ops, and then he got smoked, but they want sympathy for him, man. Right. What they say, um, they, they ain't never hurt nobody. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on, man. But still got smoked at Ray Ray's party. <laughs> You're not the first or the last. Hell, no, Nothing but a short story from the past. Yeah, so. This is Isaiah 2 and um, 12. It says, for the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. Proud, lofty. And upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. High-minded, lofty, spirited. I am something when I am nobody. Right? Because um, unless you are in the truth, you are nobody. Yep. And he said that wisdom song, lest thy yeah. wits be with him, he yeah. should be no man regarded. Yeah. No, he be ever so perfect. Nigga like LeBron James, he got all the money, all this. Yeah. Lord don't give a fuck about fuck him. Why? About because he not professing Yahweh, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. That's it. That so. nigga professing basketball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all he know. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but back in 2nd Ezra 9 and 11, and they didn't have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. And how long you think it's going to be open? Not much how, longer. It's not going to be open much longer because the, the number is almost sealed if it's not, right? And you know, I'm gonna say it's not because we would have been out of here. It would have been over, right? This place look finished as fuck, right? We just waiting for that number to be sealed so the end can come. What the Lord said, once this knowledge get preached out to the four corners of the earth, then the end gonna come, man. We looking for the end of this fucking place, man, right? Because America is no longer America. America is a land of migrants, a land of homeless motherfuckers, drug addicts, right? Um, homosexuals, tough women. Transgenders, man. This ain't the old ass America you used to know, man. You can't be great in this place unless you're wicked. You gotta be wicked, man, to be great in this goddamn place, man. And look at the women. The women are proud as hell, man. These women are so fucking prideful, man. Wait till 911 get put out of commission. No police. No fucking military, man. A lot of you men, you gonna die, man. That's right. Yeah, a lot of you men, you gonna die, man. A lot of you women, you gonna die. Go ahead, bro. Nah. And, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Yeah, you guys despise the words of the Heavenly Father, but you'll listen to Joe Biden, man. Joe Biden, old drunk, old ass, man, promoting homosexuality, right? And you white people, man, you keep promoting that homosexuality. That's your end. 
That's your end, you Sinead O'Connor looking motherfuckers, man. That's your end, man. This shit's over for y'all, man. Go ahead, Ock. Verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. A missile in your American asses, man. Russian missile, Chinese missile, Persian missile, fucking Iranian missile, Filipino, Filipino missile, man. African missile, South American missile, man. Cuban. Cuban missile, pri hey, the Cuban missile crisis. Yeah. It ain't gonna be no crisis no more. Crisis. It's gonna be reality, goddammit. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be reality, man. Go ahead. Hey, uh, can you, can you type in here? This is, um, the, the men shall find their better. I think it's a the Zechariah 1 and 14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasting and hasting greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Yep, and we we know what time it is, man. The strip tell us measure the times, uh, measure the times diligently, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. When you see these signs pass, then so you know it is uh, uh the end, roughly paraphrasing. Right. Hey, the end of the world is manifesting itself, making itself known. You see what comes at the end of, the, of Esau Eden's world? Destruction, chaos. Thus, with violence shall Babylon the Great be cast down. Yep. Hey, all hell. Hey, you had it uh, back during the um those riots and whatnot. They was talking about disarming uh Philly uh police stations, man. Oh, so what you think what you think it will happen up in Philly, man? Mm. Well, God, I don't know what you Ooh. just said. That's what I was just watching one they just had, I wanna say it was in Seattle or Portland, one of the two spots. Yeah. Yeah. The bombs took over. Yeah. And like you just said, man, uh, Is that where they were letting off the bombs around a hospital, motherfucker? Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, man. Man, come on, man. Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah. That's a whole nother world, yeah, Seattle, yeah. bro. Hey, we got bums around here too, but that over there, they, those are super charged up dope heads. Those are terrorists, man. Yeah. The police can't do nothing about it, man. The people yeah. are, are the people are, are, are clean terrorists, place, man. Hey, how Terrorized. Much, yeah. Hey, how much more when hey, hey, when when the Lord say, you know what? No more of this word being preached where there's no vision. The people perish. Yeah. Hey, when Esau eat them, say, you know what? No more food for you. You know, the food dry up. Hey, when that dry, when that dry tree happened, man. Yeah. All you women that don't have the covering of a man of the Lord, you're gonna be through. All you men that's not serving the Lord, guess what? You're going to be through, man. The scripture said the mighty man is going to cry there bitterly. All these tough guys, all these men of war, all the gun guys, you're going to be absolutely through in that day. You're going to need divine inter intervention. What's that verse? Um, if the righteous scarcely be saved, mm -hmm. where should a God oh, be? Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, one thing I didn't like about that Tyrone, I need to see more killing happen. Jake pulled up in them cars. I need to see all our war. Oh, that, I thought all war. This should be more to the It was movie. more of a psychological movie. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. But, but, but kill, kill him. Psych that hit Jake too. But look how deep it was. All the way in California, they had a whole nother nigga of him. Oh, yeah. This shit all over the world, man. They got these niggas. This shit crazy. At one point in the movie, real quick, if you remember, he said, man, these devils got underground bases in all these major cities there. What they build it all over the fucking America. They got these underground I'm sorry. You Google it now. They show you a whole. Uh, underground uh, system, tunnel system about. in all of America. Yeah. Bro, in yeah. all of America. Real fast, yeah. where we live at, remember in the 90s, they were bringing big, these huge tubes. Yeah, Northwestern. Uh, oh, by Northwestern, right. Yeah. And he was speaking. Oh, my man said they could fit about um 70,000 people at an underground spot up here up north. Man, they already done set it up for, what, nuclear destruction. At certain times of oh, the day, he, we'd be my here. Man boom, accidentally, boom. He accidentally walked into it. Man, they told him, man, get the fuck from around. He didn't even have clearance to go down there. He said he was looking for something on the map. He actually went through the wrong door and he found out about this whole underground thing over here up north. And man. this is north of here, man. Hey, ain't it like a whole underground under, uh, uh, downtown, downtown Chicago? Chicago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't let nobody in there. Nobody. No, no. Um, yeah, because they, they say where the sidewalk is, like on Michigan Avenue, it it's 25 feet. The original sidewalk is 25, 25 feet, feet below. Feet below. And then below that, they have, in case of the president's here, they have a, a, a train that'll take them from downtown yeah. straight to O'Hare to get the fuck up out of here. Oh, a sorry. straight shot. I watched you know the video. They said the, mis yeah. the Midwest is going to be where a lot of the, um, the, oh, the politicians oh, flee to because oh, yeah. um, all the all the core arm um, was that shit. Uh, the coast, um, the West Coast, the East Coast going to be hit up, man. New York going to be knocked off off the map. California, California yeah, Florida. <laughs> Florida. Man, I was talking over the brother yesterday. He said he had a dream. The nukes was going off, and he said Chicago and New York got hit. Mm. Oh. 
Yeah. He said those were some of the first spots to get hit. He, yeah. he mentioned New York. They did, um, Russia That's did put that, I'd seen them, Russia had a plan. They, they had found out about that too. They said, oh, you press this dude, y'all gonna push that Midwest? Oh, yeah, we okay. got, we got, uh, say two and little baby say we did hit y'all shit, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, in Chicago. Oh, yeah, that Oppenheimer, man. And that came out this week, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, yeah, done. Hey. Yo, speak on hey, fuck yourself. Geez. Like, yeah, I tried. Too. It was kind of boring. I seen the break. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't what I thought it was going to yeah. be. But hey, hey, it being put out show you what times we had to do. Hey, hey, we had to. Hey, hey, the hey, the second war is past. The third, third war yeah. coming quick. Yeah. You no. Know? Scriptures. Oh, it should have been more yeah. about World yeah. War Two and. Man. I want to see them drop that. Hell, come on, man. <laughs> Well, you know. In the aftermath, man. That's what All that, yeah. Exactly. So a little documentary I seen. They had like the aftermath, man. Esau got a lot of pain to do, man. Yeah. Them people are mad, man. Uh, Mo, uh, uh, Abin, Abin is mad, man. Yeah. They still, yeah. they still ain't recovered from that yeah. stuff, man. So yeah. they still got wounds. Their grandparents, their great grandparents, still wounded out, man. Vietnam War, Agent Orange, and these different from Agent, um, they had like ten different um versions of uh, poison they was dropping in Vietnam, man. You have to pay for your atrocities, Esau, that you've done upon the earth, man. Like and these it. other heathen nations are upset too, man. They rejected them, man. Hey, the Arabs are mad at you so-called white people. The um Japanese are mad at you nah, so-called white the people. The Vietnamese. The Vietnamese the are Arabs. mad at you. Everybody. <laughs> yep. Everybody. All the nations upon the earth are upset, man. Hey, except man. the African American. Right, except you. Except niggas. the nigga. Right. Yeah, hey, hey, man, you ain't do you. nothing wrong, right. bro. Hey, 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 hello. Let's get back to the Israel. Well, no, sir, man, you ain't do nothing wrong, Holmes. Hey, 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 Forget that, Holmes, man. man. That was a long time ago, you tripping, Holmes. Bro. You tripping, They gave me a good job here, Holmes. Stay away from that chicken. Oh, yeah. You got that purple drink. You got that purple drink. That nigga look at a map and see people waving with them glasses. God damn. <laughs> just read your Bible, bro. Hell yeah. Give me two back. Come in up and go. I can explain. Yeah. yeah. That means you good. That nigga got one ankle working. Hey, guys. Yo, what's up, nigga? Jehovah's Sickness. Oh, no. Right. That's that's right there. Something that disappeared. Yeah. That was him. Yeah. 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 This Nahum chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Slow to anger, man. The Lord is slow to anger, man. So just because... These things are taking time in some scriptures, and some of these things, you know, are happening, but it's taking its time to manifest. They think it ain't gonna happen, man. They think we're gonna be out here, because some of us been out for some time, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They think it's, oh, man, I'm the same cast me out year after year after year, so you know? Yeah. Hey, hey, the Lord, hey, it ain't no gray areas in the scriptures. The scope is the Lord ain't gonna come back. That's Second Peter third chapter. The Lord, Esau, like, oh, shit, the Lord ain't gonna do nothing. He allowed me to do it. Psalms, what? Uh, 55, it says, uh, uh, thou sittest and speakest against thy brother Jacob. Um, it says, "Thou, uh, I have set alone." Basically, I did this. I gotta get and it. You thought I was well, all together one as with you. Yeah, yeah. But hey, the yeah, Lord, He gonna hold you to it. All the bloodshed, all the murder, all the lying. And hey, that movie, they clone Tyrone. They show exactly what you, what they do to you, niggas, man. Yep. Experiment on you. Hey, hey, keep you in a, a perpetual state of poverty. Keep hey, you drug ready. What they say about the black bitch? It's easy for us to make you. You ain't shit, the black yeah. woman. Oh, yeah. 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 You call him a dime a oh, dozen. Yeah. Yeah. Piece of shit ass bitch. Hey, 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 that was he cut to the nigga woman right there. Yeah. 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 Hey, he didn't consider his ladder in though. Because they, although you doing all these things, you slaying the Lord's people. Hey, hey, the Lord said he gonna come back and collect his jewels, man. Yep. Hey, it's in our law. He that uh, still of a man. Yeah, ex Exodus twenty one sixteen. He must be put to death. Absolutely. You see, and when the Lord come back to collect his jewels, as say, and the minor prophets. Hey, hey, who is he coming to get him from? Whose hand are we in? Who still possesses us to this day? Yeah. Hey, who um, pr uh, prolonged the suffering? Who heavily laid the, uh, the affliction, the yoke on our people? Esau, even the supper clan white man, and the rest of you heathens, man. So guess what happens when our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah comes back, man? Judgment. You had that movie, Black Adam, come out some uh, like a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. And now uh, Black Adam, he was he's basically the savior of his tribe of people. Right. And he left for like a thousand or two thousand years, but then he came back to save his people, man. Oh, and this is says it's Corinthians, uh, the first Adam. That looked good. He said the first Adam was, um, I forgot it was written at the moment, Salaki, yeah, let's, but it let's says just it. get it. Let's bring it out. Mm -hmm. it, it, it referred to Yahweh Shah as that second Adam, him right. coming back again. And hey, what is he coming back again to do? Destroy. Isaiah the 19th chapter, real quick, if I may. This. This Isaiah chapter 19. <clears throat> Man. This Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 18. 
It says, in that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan, which is the Hebrew. And the Lord returned us back into that pure language. It says, and swear to Yahweh of hosts, one shall be called the city of destruction. In that day there shall be an altar to Yahweh in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors. And he shall send them a savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. You see? So hey, it's prophesied that our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, he saves, he delivers. He's going to come back and save his His people. What Luke 1 says, from the hand of all their enemies and those that yeah. hate them. Yeah, right? yep, yep, yep. So come on, man. Hey, you're through. And, and the Lord speaks about how vengeance is his, man. So, sure, so, so for all these crying tears and all the things to be going through, the infirmities, man, the Lord got us, man. We ain't gotta go out here and, and try to do what the Black Panthers did. No. We ain't gotta go out here and do what um uh, with 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 uh with uh any one of them brothers tried to do, you know what I'm saying, back in the day and they things failed, man. Didn't Mark Varsity Dessier or, or any one of them, man. Hey, you know? Hey, to those that be trouble, rest with us. Hey, and this knowledge, man, you know? Cause hey, we ain't gotta, as the brother said, we ain't gotta go try and do these government petitions, you know, try and get on these Fucking all this Black Panther. No, we ain't got to do nothing. And quietness and rest, he shall be saved. And returning and coming back to our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, the Lord going to going uh, soon, sooner than later come and save us, man. And also on top of that salvation, bring a great destruction. Baruch, the fourth chapter, it says, Miserable are the cities that receive thy yep, sons. Yep, yep, Miserable is she that, that laughed at thy, at thy ruin. Hey, fire coming to this place, but hey, God. the Lord is going to be glorified in the deliverance of his people. Uh, I think it's uh, I, Jerob, Isaiah 30, it might be 29. Quietness, but you would not. Yep, 30 and 15. Can we start out one? Isaiah 30 and 1, Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, yep. and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And yeah, you rebellious people, are you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, those that don't want to come back to their God. Here it is, all the nations, they have a God that look like them, but you want to serve the self-proclaimed white man. Why? Because he gave you a license to sin. You don't want to come back to your power. You ultimately don't want to uh, uh, follow his ways. Therefore, you're rebellious, man. You know? Yeah, hold on. Verse 2. <laughs> hey, Shorty. See you later. <laughs> Verse 2. That walk to go down into Egypt oh, no. and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And this place is Egypt. And instead of our people coming to their, to their God and, and trusting in their God, Hey, this says the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob. They shall no more lean upon him that smote them, yep. but shall return unto you. How is their power? Uh, hey, two thirds of our people I mean, rather trust in a self-proclaimed white man, so they can, hey, hey, so they can continue on in their darkness, huh. right? <laughs> the darkness, continue in the darkness, man. Magic Johnson, they want to continue in their darkness, oh, man. We can't, you can't Magic make this up, Junior over there, boy. Come on, terrible. Man. You cannot terrible. make this up, man. Terrible. This is why our people don't want to listen, man. Uh, I can bring out this real fast. That's one. This is a. Uh, hey, the nigga knew better than to walk past us, man. <laughs> he knew better, bro. Hey, um, this is Proverbs 29 and 1. He that being often reproved, hardened in his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy, man. These cats gonna be destroyed very soon, man. Without remedy. Come on, man. They ain't taking heed. They ain't taking heed. They don't wanna listen, man. We try to tell them to come out of their wicked ways, and they don't wanna listen, man. You know? Tell our people to come out there with way. Hey, something as simple as to put the lobster down, man. Put the crab down, man. Change your diet, man. You know? They don't want to come out there with your ways, man. So, so the scripture says, and then without you're gonna die without rim. You know? When, when uh, what comes from eating that shelf is uh, uh the harden of the of the spine, uh what is that called? Uh it's a spinal disease that you can get yep. shrimp and lobster, man. Hey, hey, crabs, man. Uh, hey. Oh, it's like that's why the Lord call out people, you Negroes, Latinos, Native American. He call you stubborn, hard-hearted, rebellion, stiff neck. He said your head is like brow. That's a hard-ass head. 
And one of the definitions of stubborn is refusing to take advice that benefits oneself. Damn. And they, Jake, they don't, they rather continue on in their darkness rather than take who, take heed to the uh, correction of the Lord. They, instead of cleaning up their diet, they rather keep eating you know, abominable things. They gotta get limbs cut off. Then sickening disease rather than taking heed to what the Lord want, told them to eat. Hey, he said, uh, my burden is light. He said, uh, the commandments are not greedy. Right. Hey, hey, listening to the Lord is help. Everlasting life. Yeah. Leads to everlasting life, man. Putting that damn abominable food down to that everlasting life, man. And peace. Yeah. Peace. Living that, uh, leaving that uh, alphabet lifestyle leads to peace, man. Everlasting life, man. You know? Yeah. Just doesn't come back to the Lord. Us, to the wicked. Huh. But if you come and turn away from all that and follow the Lord, not only do you, you get you know help, you get life, man. Ever life, everlasting life at that, and salvation. But right? I want life right now. This ain't life. No. <laughs> this ain't like this captivity, man. America means bitter. All right, we're here to serve slavery, man, because we went off. You see? Yep. But now, uh, you know, the, the Most High winked in our ignorance. Now He wants all men, all Israelites. To return and repent, man. You see? But this is back in Isaiah 30 and 3, chapter 30, verse 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Oh my God, plus section 8. Yeah. I'm not worried. I got section 8. I got food stamps. Yeah. Man, a lot of you niggas, you fuck with that ghetto ass bitch because you got them food stamps coming in, man. You could go to that broke ass apartment with all them roaches running around and rats running around, man. That's why you fuck with her, man. A lot of you niggas, you don't want to work and be a man. Get your ass up. Go get a job and provide for your goddamn self. Stop depending on the government. Stop depending on the goddamn woman. Hey, matter of fact, stop depending on your goddamn self. Right? You got to put your trust in your how about shit, man. That's right, yep. Because you done failed miserably over and over and over again, man. Go ahead. Okay. Isaiah 30 and 3. Uh, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and yep. the trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah, you're a you're, fucking Democrat. You're, you're a Democrat. A Republican. You gotta be a fucking idiot to trust in um this stupid ass society and their presidents and their senators and their politicians, man. These politicians are rich as hell, and all the people that follow them are poor. Constituents, uh, man. You ain't no constituents. Yep. You're just a nigga who go vote for these people, man. And hey, your vote don't count. Don't, don't count. count. <laughs> and, and the people that you vote for, they just puppets. Being uh being strung master, what they call it, ventriloquists. Oh, yeah. And they just do their job. They do their job leading the people in the darkness. You know, they're doing their job. We seen you niggas during Obama. Hey, you niggas all over America with Obama signs, right? And then one, once Obama got in office, what happened? Obama forgot all about you. Who did he start helping out? The homosexuals. Yeah, he said, I'm not black. I don't know what them niggas talking about. Yeah, I just sold weed on the South Side. I never lived on the South Side. Obama ain't no South Side nigga. No. Come on, man. Y'all gotta be stupid, man. Hey. We told you, don't fall victim to color, right? Hey, right. let's get the wheat and the tares. Baba Kusha, uh, Matthew um, 13. 13. Baba Kusha, the wheat and the tares, man. Hey, you got people that look like so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but they bloodline go back to who? Esau, Edom. They bloodline go back to Ishmael, Ammon, Moab, man. It's not about black. Who gives a fuck about black? That's some old bullshit. First off, you you didn't call yourself black. That's some your enemies put on you, man. Yep. You didn't call yourself Hispanic. That's some your enemies put on you, man. Yep. You didn't call yourself a native of America. That's something your fucking enemies put on you, man. Hmm. Go ahead. After they beat your ass. Uh -huh. right. sword. Matthew 13 and 24, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which soweth sowed good seed in his field the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. where dwelleth righteousness where the man you ignorantly call jesus christ is in charge man that's what we're here promoting not right now this is the kingdom of hell you are living in hell and you will soon realize it you will soon fucking realize it man go ahead verse uh 25 but while men slept his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. Yeah, when we way. fell as a fucking nation, the so-called white man and the other nation, oh and they came and what? Put dick in our women. Yep. Put dick in our women. They slept with our women, right? Um, they got it called the children of the plantation. Yep. If you look up the definition for children of the plantation, those were the children of the white masters. 
when the white master raped the black slave, those children were called children of the plantation. They knew those children were different from the other children. Master said, no, that's my kid. He might not look like me, but God damn it, I had him. Yeah, those called our fucking tears, man. Hey, what did they do? They went and infiltrated on you niggas, man, and tricked on you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Whenever try, you tried to rebel, they go hold tell on you, man. Hey, the same thing happened in the Northern Kingdom, man. With the oh, Spaniards yeah. hit, hit the Indian, with the natives, or, you know, uh, this car in them, man. Happy. It's the same thing, man. All the Mexican, all them persons you see in Central and South America, man, them motherfuckers is Spaniards, man. Thanks. <laughs> them some Spaniards, man. They even look like Spaniards. They don't look like the Aztecs or the Tainos. No. Go ahead. Done. Matthew 25, I'm sorry, Matthew 13 and 26. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. Mm, then appeared the tares also, man. Right, so we're in a society where we done mingled and mixed amongst the people, man. And we know really ain't no mingle and mixing because your bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are an Israelite. But if your bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Edom, you are through. Up. <laughs> through. You're through, man. You're in trouble, man. Go ahead. Verse 27. You're in trouble, man. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, this, that, this not thou so good seed in, the, in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? Yeah, where all these tares come from, man? Hey, you could tell a tear. A tear spirit ain't right. He's all about college, college, science. Yeah, you try to bring up God. No, no, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that, right? Because he's, he's a heathen. He might look like your people, but his bloodline go back to one of the heathens. And a heathen don't believe in the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. They got their own gods, man. Go ahead. God, verse 28, Matthew 13, 28. He said unto them, an enemy hath done this. A who? An enemy has done this. A who? An enemy has done this. Yeah, yo, yo, yo. If you're not an Israelite, you are an enemy. <laughs> yeah. If your bloodline don't go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are an enemy. We don't give a damn what your skin color look like. Your skin color don't mean a goddamn thing, all that black bullshit. It's a lot of black motherfuckers when that time comes, they going into slavery. It's a lot of you Hispanic looking motherfuckers. When that time come, you going into slavery. Yeah, yep. it's a lot of you Native American looking motherfuckers. When that time come, you going into slavery, man. Preach. If your bloodline don't go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are in trouble. Go ahead, right. beloved. Good. Uh, verse 28 again. He said unto them, an enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, will thou then that we go and gather them up? Hey, hey, hey he want to go gather them up. Right? It's a lot of our people, but, but the Bible said, hey, wait on me, Seth, the Lord. Yes, right. We got to wait on the Lord, man. You can tell a terror. You're like, man, this nigga, he ain't one of us, man. You want to fuck him up, but no, the Lord said, hold on, man. Hey, man, calm. Fall back, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. This ain't your show. This is the Lord's show. <laughs> yeah, you don't move when you want to move. You wait till the Lord gives orders, man. Read that again, beloved. Come Matthew 13, 28. He said unto them, an enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, least while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. That show you how much they look so much similar, man. Right? If the so-called white man who go back to Edom lay with a black woman, that child is an Edomite. If a so-called Edomite, if a so-called white man who bloodline go back to Edom lays with Hispanic and have a child, that's an Edomite, man. That's it. No matter what they look like, we're not going by features. We're not going by skin color, man. We're not going by that land. Oh yeah, he's Middle East. Jesus was Middle Eastern. Yeah. He had to look black. He had man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. That whole Middle Eastern is a new term, nigga. Right. That's some new term, man. Terminology, man. That's he Southwest Asia. Asia. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. When you watch 300, they didn't say the Middle East. They said Persians. all of Asia. Yeah. Oh, minor Asia. Yeah. Minor Asia. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Exactly. Go ahead. Con, verse 30, Matthew 13 and 30. Let both grow together until the harvest. Hey, the Lord say, hey, man, hey, don't, hey, our job is to preach. That's it. We're not here to intervene. Hey, stop beating up on that woman. Hey, nigga, mind your business, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, they send you here to be captain, save a hoe. No. Yeah. Hey, man, leave her alone, brother. Leave, hey, man, mind your goddamn business. Yeah. <laughs> mind, hey, we ain't here to save hoes. We're not here to feed the poor. Hey, brother, let's get some sandwiches, man. Go downtown oh, and feed the homeless, brother. Yeah, 
Hey, brother, get some coverage together, man. We got to go get some coverage, man, for the homeless, brother. Hey, brother, get some water together, man. We got to go feed the homeless. That's not our job. <laughs> Right. Back in Matthew 13 and 30, let them let both grow together into the harvest, and in the time of the harvest, Woo. I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn the time of the fucking harvest man yep. right the time of the visitation of the lord man yep. the time of tribulation the time of the gloominess right somebody give me isaiah 13th chapter right quick man i'm right here i got stop it shot start at work yeah. you bring it out the top there's isaiah chapter 13 and verse 1 it says the burden of babylon which isaiah the son of amos did see lift ye up the banner upon the high mountains exalt the voice unto them Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Right, right, right. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. And the Lord's about to release his death angels, man. And the Lord about to release all kind of pestilence and tribulation and hell on fucking earth, man. Right. right? And um, if you're not in order, you're going to get judgment. You're going to be part of the judgment, man. This ain't no time to be playing around. We've been out here for a long time. We not playing around. That's why we don't presented our bodies as a living sacrifice to push this gospel, man. We're not worried about government officials. We're not worried about two third niggas. And we damn sure ain't worried about Satan. Hey, the scripture say, uh, fear not them that the harm the body, but prepare for man. Um, fear him that can destroy the body and the soul in hell. Don't you know, be very crazy. You got to right. fear your home, man. You got to yeah, fear the Heavenly Father. Because you got to understand, he control everything anyway. Yeah, that's it. Can't, none of these people have nothing to touch you or do anything to you without him sanction. Yeah. So that's why you're supposed to fear the one who's in control, man. The power over all flesh. Yeah. The king of terror. Yeah. Right. Hey, um, scripture even speaks about how, like, it, us right now camping, man. The Lord got angels that camp around us, man. So we don't worry about no two thirds of the bullshit going on around us, man. It's happening, man. We, don't, we know that all bad is going on, but we still have a job to do, man. In, in, the, in, the, in, the must, in the midst of all that, man. Yeah. Yeah. This Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 4, it says, The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts must serve the host of the battle. Huh. That's it. Yeah, our Lord is putting something together, man. It's called World War III. It's called race wars, right? You're going to leave the house, man. I'm just going to the grocery store. Guess what? You're not coming back. Yep. Somebody going to snatch your ass the fuck up. Yep. What, what about on vacation? It's like, you know how Jake loves to go on vacation at certain times of the year. Oh, yeah, everything's very, everything's happy. Hey, oh, the, oh, oh, the temperature looks good. Great. Next thing you know, uh, the Lord just drop, lets the man, all uh, hell come. And that's another thing. These storms is popping up uh, left and right, man. Right. You know? These cats be off on the ocean, man. A hurricane come out of nowhere, man. Storms out of nowhere. Crap, right, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not thinking about the times or, or, or thinking about the seasons we're in or nothing, man. No. But that's because the Lord got a blinder part of and at Joel, it says, uh, hey, hey, proclaim ye among the Gentiles war. Yeah. Uh, raise up the mighty men. You know? Hey, hey look, that. look, you got, you got people, uh, look, look, you know, I told about my man, so I was telling you about goes over to um, Japan and shit in, in the midst of uh, fucking storms and shit. Two thirds of our people are just, they out of there, man. They still talking about going to Mexico and Jamaica and stuff, man. They still want to go to the Bahamas and stuff. Two of the most dangerous goddamn places on the face of the earth. Man. But hey, but, but, but in their mind, and they said really speaking about, because guess what? what what's, what's the key thing on those islands, man? The inhabitants can't come on to the resorts. They can't come on to the resorts. But guess what? When the police shit failed, 9 one failed, the Lord brings all hell on them islands, man. Y'all targets, man. Oh, yeah. Y'all targets, man. Straight targets. Straight targets. They got that barbie. Y'all too pretty to be on camera. They got that barbie. Right. Yeah. This. Right. This. Right. This. this Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 5, it says, They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, 
even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. In the book of Isaiah, the Lord said, I created the smith that blew up the coals and the fire to bring forth a weapon of my destruction, roughly paraphrase, I believe Isaiah 57. And hey, in that movie Oppenheimer that, that dropped uh, last Friday, in a movie, it's spoiler alert, bros ain't seen it, you know. But hey, he said, hey, it's a divine weapon. He said that this is a divine weapon. And hey, it is a divine weapon because ultimately the Heavenly Father put on the spirit of uh, Robert J. Oppenheimer and all them other Edomites that constructed it with the Manhattan Project to bring a weapon which ultimately would evolve into an even greater weapon to fulfill the Lord, to fulfill the, the will of the Lord, which is burning America, Babylon the Great. Well, that's Isaiah uh, 54, I got, 16. I got it right here. Preach. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. That's talking about the nuclear missiles. Who, who's the smith that, that created the coal? That's the most high, Yahweh. He put it in their minds to create this weapon, destroy their damn self. That's right. These, these Edomite scientists, you know, really the Temanites. And I have created the waster to destroy. So Esau Edom, he's created all these nuclear missiles, all right? They're not going to be put in a museum. All right, these are going to be used. All right, it tells what's the scripture that says point all your arrows to Babylon basically. Yeah, yeah. All these other countries, uh, even America's allies, are going to turn on America and hate the whore oh, yeah. and shoot the missiles from the ends of the world and it's going to hit here in America, man. Yeah, that's, that's cold, man, because the prophets, they seen the vision. There wasn't no nuclear missiles back then. They described it the best way right. that they knew how because that's how an arrow is. It shoot up at first and it come right back down. That like glittering a, sword. A, yeah. a fig. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, it go it's like this when it's ready, and then it drops, and that's what the scriptures uh, 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 put an analogy to it, man. Yeah, uh, Revelation 6, I believe, and Isaiah 34. Yeah, that's right. the, that's the way the Lord wanted it because He didn't want pe people to get it no way, man. Right. That we don't want to get it. Man. That's, that's right. why I speak in parables. Yeah. Yeah. To you, it. Is it. you right. opened up the scriptures saying, and the nuclear missile is going to hit America. America. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Yeah. He's all going to get rid of that damn thing. Yeah. He's gonna ban the Bible. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. how you know the Lord cold with it though. Cause hey, all these Edomites, all these nations, they know that these weapons they got, these nuclear uh uh thermonuclear warriors, they know that these are basically shit can hey in a movie they said uh this can ignite the atmosphere. They was talking about an atomic bomb. But they a eat a the Lord so cold, he made them create a weapon that can destroy all mankind. Now, hey, the earth will buy the forever. Everybody ain't gonna perish. Right. But hey, the Lord put on the spirit to bring a to bring a weapon that also is gonna fall upon their own head. It's saying uh Psalms, it shall come down upon his own pate. Yeah, and yeah. pate is your head. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a cut to Esau, because when he watches the movie, he thinks that his thoughts made this, man. No, the Lord put these thoughts in you, man. Yeah, the they, Lord created you to do these things, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, say that. He said, uh, he have said uh, I am and none else. Right. No, I believe yeah. it's in Ezekiel and in, uh, he, he also talks about how he created a weapon to destroy worlds and stuff like that, man. You know, yeah. the Lord put that thought into you, man. Well, 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 was 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 yeah, yeah, 21, it said the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Right. He turneth it with us wherever he goes. So it's the will. Well, whatever, whatever, step you, whatever step you take, the Lord is in control of that. You're a puppet, man. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. There's no free will. Go ahead, you got something to bring up. Bring up the yeah, I still got some more. Yeah, uh, I know there's like Isaiah 13 and 13. I hit one more real quick. Jump, please. This Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5, it says, For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. And what is this prophecy that the uh, prophet Isaiah seen? He seen those missiles coming, man. No. Going back to Isaiah 13. This Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 5, it says, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord. And an ICBM is an intercontinental ballistic missile, a cross-continent ballistic missile carrying those uh, warheads, those thermonuclear warheads. It says, and the, it says, even Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation, it says, to destroy the whole land. It says, Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. A modern day uh, Babylon is Iraq. Iraq, there's people still over there living. That's Satan. There's people still yeah. over there living in Iraq, man. <laughs> hey, but this place, that future Babylon, mystery Babylon, uh, that ride upon the beast, that's this place. Yep. So this place ultimately is, hey, as, as the scriptures say, uh, uh, reserved unto fire. Right? 
This Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 6, it says, How ye for the day of how is at hand? It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore, all, therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they talk about that in Joel, it says pains are going to be on their face when they see these sights. You had that uh, show, uh, American Horror Story. I forget what season was. It was probably like the latter end of the season, but the beginning of the season starts with a damn uh, nuclear missile dropping. And everybody was just going about their regular day lives. Everybody was drinking and giving them a marriage. And then a big ass missile came and just decimated everything. And that's what's going to happen in the day of the Lord. It said it shall come as a thief in the night. It says as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell upon the, the earth. Why? Because you people ain't watching. Hey, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we at the end of the world. Hey, our God is coming to save us, but you got to come back to him. Yes, sir. You got to come back to him. This Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 8, it says, And they shall be afraid, pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth, and they shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames, and they the people that's going to be here, Hey, hey, that's fuel to the fire. Hey, Malachi the fourth chapter said, "A day that comes that shall burn as an oven." The Lord is coming to melt this place. And hey, hey, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, come back to your God. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. He's coming to save us. He looks like us, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This. And we're really racist fucks. Yeah, we're really racist fucks. We won't believe it or not. Man, that's what I'm trying to split our brothers up. Hey, hey, cuz, I can't go with it. Hey, family, family. Bro, you on this side, man. My man, you don't know us from nowhere, my man. All right, keep your ass on this side. We over here, brother. Hear the word, man. Respect, man. Respect. Respect. You don't know us like that, my nigga. This? You got something? No, go ahead. Yeah, I do, but I'll you. So you trying to die out here, man. This Isaiah, this, this Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 9, it says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, and that's contrary to what you read in, this, in, in what you hear in that in that Christian, that Baptist, in that Muslim church, whatever it is, man. Hey, the Lord it says, by fire and by sword will will Yahweh plead with all flesh. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Who's the many? You people that ain't uh a a a uh furthering the, the furthering this gospel that's looking for the Lord and Savior to come back. That's marrying and giving it a marriage. They, hey, that's listening to the self-proclaimed white man, the devil, right. thus saith the Holy Scriptures. You people are going to be that fuel for the fire. You people are going to be the ones that's overtaken in that day. It says, verse 9, Behold, the dead, the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Amos, the ninth chapter, it says, The sinners of my people shall die by the sword, yep. but say, yeah, I will not do good nor evil. Right. It says a hey, Jeremiah the 30th chapter says a time like never before, yeah. but he, the elect, shall be saved out of it. But for the rest of you yeah. people, hey, you're going to be in trouble. <gasps> but what's the answer out of it? Hey, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower, the righteous one into it and are safe. Yeah. That's the way out. That's it. The scriptures speak about how no adulterers, no weirdos, no fornicators, no covetous. Uh, the list goes on and on will not inherit. No, none of you wicked people in this kingdom, kingdom is going on right now. And you think you're going to continue on with your weakness and coming to the next kingdom coming, man. You're going to perish in this place right here, Now, we're on life. You guys are going to get a move from. second half 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you. And who may turn it back? You know, when those businesses are shot, there's no way of turning them back, man. Right. All right, they're going to hit their, their mark and not miss. All right, a fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it has begun to burn? And what is the Lord saying? You can't stop nothing that's coming. That's it, you right? Can't yeah. Stop the fire. Right. Esau couldn't stop World War One. He couldn't stop World War Two. He couldn't stop the North Korea, North, the Korean War, the Vietnamese War, the um, Contra War, I Iraq, Iraq War, um, Afghan, Afghan War. We man, this nigga been oh, fighting hell. for a long motherfucking time, goddamn it. Right. This is the bloody man that the Bible What's speaks up, of, dude? man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's, why I feel, 
Oh, that's, that's my lip. <laughs> you know hey, look, them drug niggas be in the club and meet a bitch like this and go home. That's that terrible. That motherfucker pull the patties down oh, and the motherfucking snake fall out that motherfucker. Yeah, and then you end up killing that transgender and then you go to jail, goddammit. We been telling you, this ain't no time to be chasing that pussy, man. But I ain't no pussy, hey, no. Hey, those some boy pussy. Oh, yeah, boy pussy. <laughs> hey, man, hey, the scripture said those that have wives be as though they have none, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Broom Hilda. Go ahead, Broom Hilda. <laughs> go. Uh, damn. Broom Hilda. That motherfucker like been like two people. That bitch like a cosmic <laughs> brownie. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. Damn. Okay. Hey, she look like, uh, what's that motherfucker? Shit. Up, uh, uh, Damn. Oh, uh, what's that? Uh, shit, man. It looks like you're starting to land up in the game. Oh, yeah, they got that. What's that cartoon with the Proud family? What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the blue yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. Going to shut up. Like, one of them. Yeah. Nah, it's the... Damn. Yeah, well, you see what they want them carrying. She like the friend with the yeah. yellow hair. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, belly yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. That be them type of hoes who be oh, like, what? Oh, yeah. You don't want this pussy? Come on, Hell man. no, we don't want this pussy, goddamn. Keep that one pussy. Yeah, you can keep that. Right now, what we want is salvation. That's yeah, right. right. Yeah, we looking for the Lord's attention. We not looking for no attention from you low-life ass women. Because that can't save us, goddammit. No, nope. go ahead, beloved. Come on. Uh, verse 7, 2nd Ezra 16 and 7. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. Yeah, because once the missiles get shot off, there's no button you can push for them to return back to the silos. Nope. Right? They're not going to... Oh, stop! They're, America has said they're not going to be bad no more. <laughs> a change of heart. Right, the right, missile's right. going to come back. No, That's man. You turn this come shit, on, man. man. That's not going to happen, man. Go ahead. Done. Verse 8. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Point. Right. Uh, Nobody, man. All right, there, our brother just posted a video where first is going to be these missiles that shoot off an EMP that shut off all the electronics yeah, yeah. in nah, America. Nah. All right, and then America doesn't have defense to, to you know to ward these missiles off or stop them. You see, like in Israel, they have with the, the iron door. No, yep. that shit's through, man. That's oh, not yeah. going to work in that day. <laughs> they they right? showed they show the flaws in that. When the missiles get hit, they're still exploding over weddings and shrimp, yeah. metal flying. What the fuck was the purpose of that? But back to what you said, they did that EMP attack just to cover Twitters and their Facebook. So Hell nobody no. could talk Good. about the missiles are coming. The right. missiles are coming. Like they shut off the internet in France momentarily, you know? Come on, come on. All right? We're talking about Jacob's trouble, a time like no other, man. Yeah. All right? Hey, uh, EMP drop. Hey, your car stopped, the water stopped, right. every right. bank stopped, everything stops. Well, you know? But there's going to be the light in that day. There's going to be your stability in those times, man. Wisdom and knowledge. All right, knowing and understanding you how about Shimei was shy. All right, because these people are going to bug out because they trust in Esau, man. They trust in Egypt. Uh -huh. You see? See, it's a day of perplexity. These people will be. Yep. What the fuck going on? What's next? Yeah, people what like that, they, they definitely going to take that MOTV. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, y'all going to be in the crib, right? The toilet stopped working. Oh, wow. You got to smell shit from all the family members, right? <laughs> Plus, you gotta smell the food from the refrigerator that died. That shit gonna stink. Yep. And you gotta smell the garbage that nobody done picked up for the past fucking weeks. Don't forget the dead body. Oh, the dead you body. Smell that too. Man, damn, man. we can't even bury grandma. Grandma done died two months ago in the room, stinking like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it's about to get bad for you people. <laughs> yep. Good. Good. Right. He said everything I go outside. You're good. Bring it up. They have scripture. Read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse. Yes, step up and speak up because we can't This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. Step up and speak up because we can't hear you. Yes, the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time, so Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. Even to the even to that same time, and in all the time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written yeah. in the book. Hey, and that's how bad everything is going to be, man. Hey, the, the Heavenly Father going to send one of the top angels to, to defend his people, man. Yep. That's how bad things going to be, man. And they, everybody knows it, man. They put it in the movies. All these uh, zombie movies, these apocalyptic movies, they all foreshadowing the end of this society. That's all that is, man. See, but hey, 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 the Lord is gonna be a light, a covering for his men. The rest of you people that's not, hey, the famine, the uh, captivity, the dogs, he over there with that big ass musket or whatever, that javelin over there, hey, it's gonna be, hey, it's gonna be, um, hey, um, hey, every man for themselves, men invading one another, man. Yeah. You see? Friends fighting like enemies. Yep. 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 
This is Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, and their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Watch Terminator 2. This is what that just bring that scripture to life. Right. That's the judgment. All that fought against Jerusalem, that fought against the building of this. I believe it's in that movie. Uh, at the end scene, like what at like at the end, it's like an aerial view from space. You can't say you're gonna be on that sea of glass, that chariot. Oh, yeah. Well you seen the nukes going yeah. like this from all over the earth, and they hit America, man. And that's in the scriptures. Hey, these people gonna be down, yeah, what this out, we not a part of it. These people gonna be down like this, but the elect gonna be in them chariots looking at the destruction, man. Yeah. You know, and that visual is in that movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 like Arnold Schwarzenegger ain't stopping nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah Connor. Right, right. That's, that's all he saw, but he somehow just stopped the world lord. No. Right, he somehow just, out of all this shit going on, where he has no hope, no way to win, he somehow wins. Yeah, yeah well, 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 of course, yeah, because <laughs> he's, he's the director uh, and the writers of these movies, man. So, of course, he, he gonna write that he, he wins at the end. Oh, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, but our W is written. Yeah, but the, 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 the scriptures, that, that's what's true, man. Not yep. some damn Holly weird-ass movie, man. Yep, I got a quick one. Let me hit this real quick. This Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. And hey, that uh war in heaven, that's speaking about in this time, man. Hey, Esau Edom and his angels, his military forces, and all these nations, they're gonna fight against the Heavenly Father. They showed that movie Independence Day. That brings that's this scripture like. Yep. Hey, second edge is 13. Yep. Revelation 17. Yep, yep. But hey, that's that war in heaven. Hey, the Lord and his angels are gonna come with the host of heaven. It says thousands and thousands of the saints. Hey, they're gonna hey, they're gonna come and smoke you, man. It's not gonna be a fight. Smoke yeah. you, right? Yeah. It says verse 8, and prevail not. So you don't so you don't win. And prevail not. Yep. Right. Hey, they got the sport and space for us. You put billions of dollars into these different military bases here and there, man. All to no avail. He don't, he don't get that. The Lord put in your mind to do that, to begin with, yeah. man. Yep. The trick, putting you in the trick bag, right? Yep. They say his horses are horses of flesh and not spirit. <laughs> right. <laughs> this Revelation chapter 12 and verse 8, it says, And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And they, that's why that Jeremiah, that Isaiah 30 we read earlier, he said the strength of Pharaoh is going to be ashamed. Yep. It says, All they that forsake me, Jeremiah 17, um, shall be confounded. All them that hasten out the other guys and Psalms. Because ultimately, hey, hey, you, you forsaking the Lord to trust in a carnal man, a profane carnal man. Yep, hey, hey, that's faith in the faith in the uh confidence in the God. Man. Yeah. yeah. In time of trouble is like a, a foot out of joint. Yes. Because yes. yep. yep. you know Let's what, see. man? The one of the reasons is they don't see the Heavenly Father. So uh, yep. they don't want to trust in something they don't see. Mm -hmm. Right. I right. actually so got a piece of it. Time. This is Isaiah 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, yep. and stay on horses, and trust in chariots, because uh -huh. they are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. Yep. But they look not to the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, and how will Yahweh shine? Yep. And that woe is destruction, man. Hey, hey destruction is coming to those that instead of coming back to their God, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and trust that Esau Edom, hey, you're going to fall with him. That is right. going to be a preacher to you. Yeah. You know? This Revelation chapter 12 and verse 8, it's like in verse 8, it says, And prevailed not, neither was their place found in heaven anymore. It says, And a great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Yahweh Shai, he said, I seen uh, Satan fall as lightning. Yep. A hey, speedy riddance. Yahweh Shai is going to do to end his system. In one hour. In one hour, yes, sir. Good. Verse 10, it says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And that's victory. 
is written. It don't say, hey, the Lord lost and he won. No. Hey, these words are faithful right. and true. It says that he lost. Right. He lost. And that's what's going to happen. Hey, these, hey, it says in Revelation 1, things was must surely come to pass. Yes. And hey, we here in the end time where these things are going to come to pass. Verse, God, verse 11, it says, They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. You see, but a point being, Esau eating of a sober clan white man, hey, he loses in the end, man. And all you jakes that trust in him, you lose in the end. Oh, but yeah. his victory with the Heavenly Father. That's it. I got a little more than this. This is uh, back in 2nd Ezra 16, verse uh, 10. He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? Yep. He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Verse 11. The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence, man? All right? The Lord's going to, uh, you know, burn this place up, man. All right? You know, uh, what does it say? Uh, his almighty uh, word, word leap down. down. Yep. You see? And it, it touched the earth, but it, it, it hit the, the earth, but it touched the, the heavens too. Yep. All right, those missiles are going to destroy this place. And, and also the Lord coming in the chariots, he's going to be shooting lasers with his angels. All right, destroying this place as well, man. All right? Good. Judgment. That, uh, we can't wait, man, because that judgment is our salvation, man. That's right. All right, we can't wait for America to go down. That's right. All right, we can't wait for Esau, Edom to be utterly broken down, man. And the ones that do escape, the ones that are your so-called elites in these bunkers are going to be the first fruits of our slaves, man. That's right. Ask of me, and I'll give you the heathen for that inheritance. You see? Yeah. All right, because the kingdom of heaven... You, all you other nations are going to be there, man, but as slaves, all right? And he saw for a thousand years. I remember, uh, what was that, uh, the old video, the apostle, the, the Bible uh, theologian, he the white woman. Oh, yeah. Man, at the end of she like, man, I hope I see you in heaven. Yeah. Talk like, you, your, dream, your dream's going to come true, but I'm mad at will. <laughs> Chains? That's it. They're going to get chained up, beat up, all right? We're, we're going to give to them double. All right, double. Everything they've done to us, we're going to give to them double in righteousness, man. That's right. You see? Because these things are written. This, this is the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord is proclaiming, man. That's right. He saw Edom is going down. That's right. You see? Right. So wake the fuck up. That's you right. so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. This is your only way out. Right. It's turning back to your owl. Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai. Yep. Go ahead, read, brother, please. This Psalms 149 and 1. Praise ye, Yahweh, sing unto the Lord a new song, and praise him in a congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the temple and the heart. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye, Yahweh. You got it out. Right, and who doesn't want that, man? All right, Second Thess Second Thessalonians 1 and 6 says it's a, seen it as a righteous thing to recompense them that trouble you, man. Mm -hmm. Roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, All right? Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I said the Lord's fair, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just, he's just not going to allow you damn devils to do all the wickedness you've done and not pay for it. Right. Exactly. Hey, we're looking for righteous judgment, man. Come back. Hey, a lot of Edomites think when um, we talk about, because they, uh, um, you got that comedian, CK, uh, I can't think of it, CK Lewis, or whatever. Yeah. He know, he, he feels in his heart, you know what I'm saying, these scriptures just are going to come to help to him. But he thinks yeah. that uh, we're going to come and um, sodomize and butt fuck these Edomites, man. Hell no, we not, none of that shit, man. The things that y'all did to us, we're not going to do to y'all, man. We're just gonna, we, the Lord is going to give us righteous judgment upon y'all ass, man. That's it, man. Put y'all to work, work hard. Built the kingdom needs to be built up, you know what I'm saying? Things like that nature. But I have to work for you, you know what I'm saying? You won't have to worry about being unemployed. Oh, man. Right. right. This will be continuing employment. 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 All right, and Ezekiel says continue employment. Right. Seven months, you're going to start off with seven months of burying dead bodies, man. All right? This is the slave of the Lord. 
the slain of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, shall be many. From right. one end of the earth to the other. All right, there's going to be this whole earth is going to be filled with dead bodies, man. That's right, man. And you Edomites are going to be burying them for seven months, man. And the work doesn't end there, all right? Because you guys are going to have hardcore slavery for a thousand years, and all you Edomites are going to be exterminated after that, man. That's right. Yeah, you're going to be working in the hot ass sun, no suntan, look. no suntan. Right. Look. Oh no. And they won't be satisfied with bread, right? You're going to be working two, three, four, five days straight. Six. You see? Six days. All right, you're going to be looking forward to the Shabbat. All right? But even then, you'll be plagued with, with nightmares and shit. Oh, yeah, we're going to do the uh, Freddy Krueger scene on Shabbat. Yeah. yeah. He's going to be getting whipped in his dreams and shit, man. <laughs> Working in his dreams and shit. Hey, he's not ain't getting no rest. Man. Look what he right. does in this society. Hey, look at, look at the people. Everyone's through, man. Hey, everyone's depressed, everyone's down. It says when the wicked are authority, people mourn. Yep. And this is a mourning society. Everyone's looking around, man, it's problems here, it's problems there, everyone's complaining. But look at look at the, the main problem. Look who's causing it. Esau eating a serpent clay white man. Yeah, scripture say well, power was given to him to uh, take, take peace. peace from the earth, man. Can I bring this up though? Oh, you preach. Oh, go ahead, brother. Oh, I no, um, yeah, because. And then, like I said, it's so, so many problems. Then they, they look to solve them. The only way to solve the problem, what happened? No, no, no. The only way to solve the problem is the Lord got to take this devil out of power. As long as he is in power, you're going to continue to have these problems, man. Trying to this right. back up what you were saying, man. Proverbs 29 2. On the right certain authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, people mourn, man. And like you were saying a second ago, people are unhappy, man. Everybody's unhappy, man. You even got these people trying to uh, uh, have a better lifestyle, and they're unhappy, man. You know what I'm saying? They ready to kill themselves. Look, they walk past us holding hands, and they're upset. They're mad. Not only because of these words we're bringing out that's hurting them, but just they mad because they hate the lifestyle they're living, man. They can't go to home to their mamas and daddies with Jane and, J and Janet. Or Tom and, 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 and Greg. You can't go to home to mom and dad with that shit, man. You know? You're a degenerate society, man. Oh, you walk in the black home with your boyfriend. Hey, Mom, this is Dad. Right, right. Hey, man, if y'all don't get the fuck from around here, man. Or, or Carol, Carol and Lucy, man. Carpet munches, man. Hell no, nah, man. You're degenerates. Uh-huh. Okay. This Ezekiel 35 and 2, it says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. It says, uh, hey, 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 Mount Seir is Esau. Now, I'm going to jump down just at a point, verse 13. It says, Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and I have and have multiplied your words against me, I have heard them. It says, Thus said Yahweh power, when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate, as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate. So will I do unto thee, thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all I do ye, even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. And then Isaiah 14, it says, even the trees of Lebanon shall rejoice mm -hmm. uh, when, when thou art broken, when, when the king of Babylon, Esau, Edom falls, man. You see? No. So, hey, no. hey, the, they, hey, the cancer of the earth, Esau, Edom, Revelation 6 God. and 4. Hey, this man has to be put out the garden. Oh, yeah. Because he's the fucking problem. Hey, all these movies that you watch, all these movies, these psychological thrillers and shit that you see, it, hey, it always come back to one thing. Esau, Edom, the self proclaimed white man is the problem. Yeah. And the earth is going to rejoice when the Lord and his physician cut off a lung disease. When he come and cut your ass out, man. That's but it. first, them chains, man. For right. a great recompense. Absolutely. You had a precept right here? This is the book. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Start at, start at 1. This, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. The burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. Yep. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, mm -hmm. saith, saith Yahweh? Mm -hmm. Yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. Right, the Lord hate Esau, the self-proclaimed white man. He loves uh, Jacob, man. He's so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And hey, what? But Jake always got the damn. We, our God love us. Look at us, man. We on, we in the ghetto. We on the bottom. We this. We that. Hey, little do you know, this punishment is because the Lord loves you, dickhead. Yeah, <laughs> right. You hey, exactly. Jake can do all manners of wickedness to this day. 
and then try to, damn, why, why I'm fucked up in this situation? Dude, you, just, you just woke up next to another man's wife smoking a blunt, man. And then went on a high-speed chase. And then you wonder why uh, all this is happening to you. It's good to say, can no uh, good come to him that's occupied and evil? But you can finish it up. And I hated Esau, good. and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Look, you got Esau dumb ass just because he done his wickedness so, so long, he thank the Lord with him, man. Right, right. You know, no, the Lord, no, on the contrary, man. No, no, no. You know, that's the worst thing the Lord can do to you, man. Yeah, because now, now the Lord is building a case on your ass now, man. Huh? Where's Edom said? We are improvised. But we will return and build the desolate places. And Esau did that. We in there right now, man. Esau didn't got run 2.0 back started. But what's gonna happen? Thus said Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. He's still building to this day, man. Yeah. He building some up right now, man. But just, hey, they're just giving the missiles, missiles more food for the fire, man. Yeah, more food for the fire, yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, they building more condos all over, all these cities, goofy cities building up. Now, the natural disaster might just smite them and smack them down. Mm -hmm. And he's talking, oh man, we're going to build up real fast. Man. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Lord said, Lord sending tornadoes all week. You just got to rebuild. Right, 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 right. And, and the same tornado alleys and shit yeah. like that, man. They building, um, look, look at, um, down in Florida, they got houses right off the coast of the ocean, man. How stupid is that, man? Move, look, move your house inward, man. Yeah, Don't they you got know the ocean. Yeah, hurricane. Right. Hurricane erosion, everything, man. A goddamn well jump out the ocean and just come to your creek. All sorts of shit, man. <laughs> it happens, man. Look, look when, when hurricanes hit, alligators and sharks be coming down the um, goddamn um, um, streets and shit, man. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? That water be, yeah. be sending them. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, Brian, A little too far fetched on the well, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. All tornadoes, they get to. Hey, a lot of hurricanes be tornadoes in the midst of that shit. Yeah, right. Come on, man. Like, uh, that, that, it was just one nigga, he spent like. Two million on a beach house, and that motherfucker just fell down. Wow, see? When the uh, wind and the, uh, the, the, the way, no a big ass wave just knocked that motherfucker down. He yeah. man, I just. Yeah, I seen some uh, on YouTube. It was like in, in Tampa, man. They had all these big ass houses right, right there by the damn water ocean. and wow, shit, man. Yeah. Right there in the middle of the damn ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like with the little land they had, had surrounding the damn ocean. We got right here on the north side, they got apartments right up the lake. And that shit, the lake is eating that shit up, man. They, they say, man, we only got five, five, four, two more years of been having these apartments, man, because the lake is going to take all this shit back, man. That lake is rising, the water is rising, man. And that brother made a statement years ago, and when you think about it, man, Lake Michigan is fucking big, man. They could damn near drown the city, man, when you think about it, man. That's our own damn near, like, portion of ocean right there for us, man. You know, that shit is huge, man. And deep. Ships, ships used to come through um, from Canada to here, and they was the ships were sick, man. Lord, man, that, well, that water is choppy out there, man. Well, you know, I remember on Channel 11 years ago, they had a, a, a documentary showing that uh, Lake Michigan went up to Damon Avenue, which is 2000 West. Damn. You know? Damn. Mm. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, you, oh, how far it pushed. Wow. And, so and so they, they filled all this in, even where we're at. Wow, they filled wow. it all in with, with this. Yeah, so it's, it's you know, water so underneath, got the damn saying, yes. underneath the concrete. Huh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so it's going to be claimed sooner than later. Yeah, so you got a. Uh, 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 you know, 87, where the Forest Preserve at, that little hill that go up, had to get to Damon. Oh, yeah. I heard that used to be a little river going up. Yeah. And they got like weeping willow trees around around the area, man. Because usually weeping willow trees be around water. Yeah, 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 definitely. Wow. So they had like, y'all man, whipping whipping willow trees. You had to be water around here once upon a time, man. Yeah. That's why the Lord ain't died. Isaiah 14, so he may not possess the city. Oh, what do you do with him, man? Eh? Built all this wickedness. Right. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Yeah. And the no, keep on. And the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. Yeah. And the Lord has indignation with Esau you know, forever, man. And this Esau is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. It says uh he's accustomed to doing evil. When you look at the uh, custom, it's the Hebrew word Lamar, which means trained in, practice in. So Esau, Edom, hey, you know how Kobe put you in the free throws in the gym, man. Esau, you know, practice the wickedness. It said that in Malik, uh, Micah the second chapter. That's all. 
Well, he can't get no sleep unless he comes up with something. Toss him on the fall. Toss him on the fall, right. <laughs> and, and, that, and that's his blessing, it's the sword, you know what I'm saying? So he's going to use it. Just like we're using the word, which is our sword. You know? That's right. That's why truth will, um, you know, return to her that practices. Right. 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 All right, precept. This, this Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. And then the Lord felt like this back then, and he still feels like it now. That's right. Hebrews say, uh, lest it be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. We sold his birthright, roughly paraphrasing, man. And Esau is still that same profane, hated guy of the Lord. Just a uh, quick, I read that movie, that, uh, that I read some of that book, uh, uh, who is Esau Edom? Yeah. And they said, hey, you got the uh, the anti-defamation league, basically the anti-hate league. And who started that? The small hats. Yeah. Yeah. It is. The Lord said they, he, that he hates Esau. Hey, hey, and the, the, the top family of Esau is the uh, uh, Amalekites. Uh, Amal 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 yeah. No. <laughs> but hey, they came out with an anti-hate league. Hey, go on, man. And, 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 and because they knew. That, you know, who they are. They knew who they were and they knew the time probably was gonna wake up at the time and just start rebuking their ass, man. Especially yeah. listen, listen to the law. You know what I'm saying? You can't hate me. It's illegal for you to hate me. Or, no, talk, about no, hate me. or talk about the atrocities <laughs> that we've done and put Jewish by it. That's why you see a lot of these uh, entertainers and shit getting jacked up and sued left and right, man. Because just what the brother brought out, man, an anti defamation league that, that protects the small headers, man. Right. Protects Esau, man. Protect and you know protect a lot of these uh, fruit back, uh, fruit backs out here, man. You know? They ain't protected from you. How about shooting out shots? That's right. You know, the Lord don't care about that crap, man. You sign laws, legislation all day. That don't mean nothing to the Lord, man. He gonna do what he said, do. He gonna do in his, in his word, right. man. Right, because the earth is given into your hand just for a moment. You see, so you're having your way with it, all right? But the Lord has set the bounds that you, sh you should not pass, you know, Job 14 and 5, all right? The Lord has great destruction and judgment for Esau, Edom, and all those joined on to them. Like the brother brought out a second ago, man, the trees are, uh, will be happy once this devil goes down, man. The animals will be happy, man. Everything, the, the earth is going to be happy, man. The earth will finally yield like it's supposed to yield, man. And in them trees, we're really talking about the people. Huh? The people going to be happy, man, the nations. Right, it says, um, uh, this is Esau and Esau's rulership. The whole world is upset, everybody's angry, right? Hey, all the women out of and um, all these other countries are out of order, right? Right, the, 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 the nations, their monies are collapsing, right? Everything's fucked up underneath Esau's rulership, man. Right, so the Bible speaks about putting on somebody, putting somebody who's profitable for this society. Who's that talking about? Yahweh Shai, man. That's right, right? Somebody who got a, a method of operation. That could heal the earth, man. Esau ain't healing nothing, man. Go ahead. Oh, you got something? I got some. Come bring it out, brother. This is uh, Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon. Yeah, thank God for high definition television. Right? Through high definition television, you can right. clearly see there's no such thing as a so called white man. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. There's no such thing as a so called white man. His skin is red. Yeah, you can see the blood through his fucking skin. Transparent. There's a reason they call themselves white, because white means to be pure, to be innocent. Holy. To be holy, godly. Yeah, and that's a lie. And that's a lie, right? They're not the holy people of Israel. They're not the chosen people of the Lord, right? Mm -hmm. But what did they call you so-called blacks? They called you black. Death. Death. Death evil, dark. Wicked. Evil. Wicked. And guess what? You ran with it. Talking about black power. Evil okay. power. Dark power. Nobody power. That's what you niggas is about, man. Go ahead. It says, And power was given to him that sat the road to take peace from the earth. Who took peace from the earth? Right? Because um, the Native Americans was happy than the motherfucker at one time, right? The Arabs were happy at one time. Moab. But when the white man came in the rulership, he went in the four corners of the earth going after everybody. Hey, they showed you in that movie Avatar. Now, now in that movie, that second Avatar movie, Basically, they, first off, you know, the avatars, they they Israelites, but they showed a, basically the rest of the avatars, spoiler alert, was the rest of the tribes. And yeah. this nigga, bro, 
the nigga came back. He was a Edomite. He came back and brought death, right, right. destruction to the villages, man. Right, yeah. And that's the mindset of an Edomite, man. It's like he's the one who. Uh, remember, he was a general. He came back as an Edomite, oh, right? But he was still yeah. an Edomite. Oh, you see that shit? No, 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 I couldn't deal with it. Bits and pieces. The first one, nice, but the second one was. But the way he tricked himself into with the Avatar, that shit fucked me up. That was man. That's this devil, man. That's a tear. Yeah, yeah. Man. But yeah, the point being, hey, he he brought that death. Here it is, he came to a peaceful people, and right. Cristobal Colon and all the rest of them, Spaniards, the French, the Spanish, all of them, they came to peaceful people and, and brought what? Death, bloodshed, the sword, sicknesses. sicknesses. And destroyed the earth. Destroyed the earth, yep. hey, warfare, a hey, via germs, yeah, food, all type of shit, man. <laughs> and they look at the result of the earth today now. Hey, polluted rivers, polluted uh, seas, air. polluted air. Oh, you mean you can't drink from that river, brother? Hell no. Oh, well, unless die. you want to die, bro. Oh, oh, you die, right? Right? <laughs> before you die, we're going to put you in jail, nigga. For That's drinking from that water. We're going to put you in jail before you die. So you're on the way to jail dying, nigga. You're deteriorating in the jail and shit, man. Hey, in a land where, you, man, you got to have a license to fish, right? Permission. Permission. You got to have a license to travel. Permission. Permission, right? Hey, Esau talking about, man, this is a land of the free. Free from what? Free from what? Hey, you can't even park your car on the street. No, you you have first you gotta buy a car overpriced, then you gotta pay for all this BS, then you gotta insurance. You can't even park it, man. But this the land of the freedom. This the this is the land of opportunity. It's a damn lie. They showed you in that movie um and that they clone Tyrone movie. He said all the people that found it that they packed up and left. Wait, what, what, what shit was an idea. They said all the founding fathers and oh, people yeah. that invested, yeah, yeah. they packed up and left. And they just left the, the, the concept of oh, oh, the American dream. Yeah, everyone's going to be happy. Nobody's fucking happy, man. No, no, it's a pursuit of happiness. That's, that's the Constitution. Yeah. For, for who, it though? says uh, they that chase the dream. In the Constitution. Yeah. There's a pursuit of happiness for who, though? Pursuit. For Issa. For Issa. Well, well there's a pursuit of happiness for everybody. Well, because well, mind you, they don't hang us. Well, no, no. Uh, the pursuit is, you know, you're chasing after it. It's not guaranteed. Uh, Esau's in his kingdom. It's We're pursuing... You know, Jake is trying to pursue that American dream. Yeah. And everyone that comes here, you see. Oh, it's man. So Rock says he that uh chase back a dream if you be not something the most high. It's yes. vanity if they be yeah, not all vain. <laughs> no, hey, the trip just tell us, hey, love not the word, neither things are in it. Hey, yeah. this ain't our portion in this world right now, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jacob is at the bottom right now. We the tail, thus saith the curses. Are we not the tail? Yes, we yeah, are. But we hey, are. the Lord said, hey, I know my thoughts told you that I thoughts of good and not of evil. Yep. Ultimately the Lord is gonna exalt his people. It says we're gonna rule as kings and priests on the earth. Yes. The kings and priests on the earth mm. with power and authority in everything, man. But it's a right and a wrong way to do it. What's the one that said the Lord did not send us into this captivity for our destruction? I got you. Second Mike water, B6. To water. I got you. Damn. <clears throat> this. Hey, there's more than this, you Israelites, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Uh -huh. But before we get to the kingdom, you got to go through the fire. Right? You got to go through the fire. What is the fire? Um, Famine. Right? Your, your family members losing their jobs, you losing your jobs. You might have to relocate. <laughs> There's going to be a time you might have to relocate from this place. Hey, it's going to be a time the brothers that you see right now, you might not see them brothers. So who you going to put trust in? You howl by a me outside like you've been doing? That's what we've been training. We've been training to put our trust in the Lord, man. Right? When, hey, when, when, when you can't buy, use money to buy food, what you, hey, Lord, you going to pray to the Lord. Lord, send me something to eat. Lord, please send me something to eat. The Lord did it. Hey, Elisha and Elijah, but, hey, the Lord literally, I think it was Elijah, the, hey, Jezebel was cutting the prophets off. He said, I'm going to go out in the desert and die. The Lord sent the angel, and the angel was like, look, nigga, get up and eat. Gave him food. Then told him, wake up again and eat some more. And he ate. And it lasted 40 days. Yep. You got Daniel in the lion's den. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah, the Lord brought Habakkuk over. Come on, man. Yeah. Tell him I don't want to get there. I got you. He say, I don't know what Babylon is. And I don't right. even know what a cage is on top <laughs> yeah, of that. Yeah. <laughs> what a cage is. What a lion <laughs> did. <laughs> what, a, what a Babylon is. Say, man. Yeah, lean not unto your own understanding, man. Yeah. Right? You don't rule, you don't control your lives. Right? Everybody's back in their own lot doing what they ass was doing what <laughs> three to four generations before. Yeah, you was a weirdo back then. You was an idol worshiper back then. You might have been part of the elect back then, right? You gonna be the elect right now, man. Go ahead, beloved. This second Maccabees chapter six and verse twelve. Yep. Now beseech those that read this book that they be not discouraged for these calamities, 
but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction. Yeah, that's part of our life. We got to deal with it. We going to go to trials, tribulations, calamities. Your bitch going to cheat on you. Oh, your motherfucking kids going to be disrespectful. Right. Your family members going to flip on you. Yep. That is part of our trial and tribulation, man. Hey, second Ezra 7, even so is Israel's portion. Yeah. Yeah. And, ain't no other way to make it, right? There's only one path. That's it. That straight and narrow path, right? That's and it. on this path, man, it's fire on one yep. side and water on the other, man. Hey, but at the end, it's full of all good things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Say the servant not greater than his Lord. So we're going to have to go through these things. Hey, this is where I hate our Lord Yahweh Shah. This is where a damn sure going to hate us who has the uh, man of Yahweh Shah. Who's the body of Yahweh Shah? And Yahweh Shah is going to be with us all the way even down to the end. Always. Yeah. That's right. We're holding our hand every step, man. Yeah. You see? Verse 12, now beseech those that read this book that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, but for a chastening of our nation. And hey, this is our uh, this is the, the stage in our in our history in which we're being chastened, more a punished to be morally improved. But hey, after the punishment, the Lord come and save us, put us back in our land. Baruch, the fourth chapter says we're gonna be lords of it. Man, I'm in Baruch right now, actually. Man, we're, uh, we're Baruch 4? Uh, can you? I was going to hit 18. What you going to hit, 18? But now, uh, where do you want? Where, where's that at? Exactly. Uh, Lord's. It right? might be a... Uh, it's cool. We get to a point. Which one? It might be five. Uh, five, Let's six, check. Five, five. Wait, six? Chapter six? Five. Oh, no, four and six. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Oh, but that's not what you were Where's saying. Where's the precept to it? No, no, hit the point. It's all good. Uh, Baruch 4 and 18, for he that brought these plagues upon you uh -huh. will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. Mm. So the Lord's the only one that's going to redeem us, man. That's Again, right. this is the only way out, man. All right? Nice. It's through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. No other way. You see? That's right. That's why the Lord tell us, hey, come back to him. That's the hope of Israel. Right. You, you, you've uh, uh, you know, played the harlot with all these other, you know, uh, gods and philosophies, but turn back to the Halabah Shem you know, and he'll abund abundantly pardon. Yeah. So, hey, as his majesty is, so, so is his mercy. mercy. Yeah. And the Lord merciful, man. He said, yeah. if a woman trust me apart from a husband, so as we did unto the Lord. Right. He said, hey, if, a, if a woman, you know, cheat on her man, hey, should he take her back? back? According to the law. Said, I no, took you no. back. But no. come back to me. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord merciful. Uh, then on top of that, hey, you come back to the Lord, heal you up, take care of you, keep, make sure you fed, man. Yeah, and a lot of all your sins, transgressions, and your secret faults. Cast me to the sea of forgetfulness, yeah. man. Lord Cole. Man, right. we love him because he first loved us. That's right. Ooh, ooh. This second Maccabees 6 and 13, for it is a token of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffered any long time, but forthwith punished. Yep. You see, so it's a sign of the Lord's goodness when hey, we get jacked up for our sins immediately. He don't let them just stack up, right? It says, verse 14, For not as with other nations whom the Lord patiently forbear to punish till they become to the fullness of their sins, so deal of he with us. It says in Proverbs, He that spared his rod hated his son. Yep. It says, uh, He that loved his son chastened him oft yeah. so that he can have joy in him in the end. And they ain't talking about... Um, child abuse, you niggas, <laughs> you niggas fucking around DDTing the child on the glass table and shit. Yeah. That's fucking child abuse, nigga. That's terrible. Yeah. That's, man, come on, man. They got niggas, man. They got their kids locked up in cages and shit. Fuck around okay. with you niggas, man. That's over fucking um, over. 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 Yeah. Over. 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 Second Edges 15 and verse 14. It's like Second Maccabees 6 and 14. For not as with other nations, whom the Lord patiently forbeareth to punish, till they become to the fullness of their sins, so that if he with, with us, the scriptures say, uh, hate not the uh chastening of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Um uh, so that if he with you, as with sons were prepared, Proverbs. Proverbs 3, I think. Yeah, it's Proverbs 3 and 11. My son. Despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. Yeah, everything that the Lord put us through ultimately is he not doing this so he can just fuck us up and leave us fucked. No, he doing it so we get fucked up, but ultimately he gonna bring us out on the other side, we're gonna be better. Huh. Yeah. So hey, just like a father deal with his son, 
brothers as fathers, so we got that understanding of, of, of that dynamic. You don't want your son to do anything bad. He do something bad, you're going to let it just go unpunished. Well, so right the 30th chapter, it says, um, uh, look, not past his iniquities. Unless basically they come back and he, he become a demon, you know? Right. You, you got to be on his ass. So does he with you as with sons. Right. Now, That's when you get on his ass, you punish him, hey, that more improvement coming. Then you get that piece of uh, uh, righteousness. Yeah. Look at you saw Edom. They don't they don't chastise the children, right? Fuck no, you, mom. Oh yeah, fuck you, mom. This is my mom. Mom, you're a bitch, mom. I'll kill right? you. And then five years later, they actually put the parents to death. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Comment too. I told you I was gonna kill you. <laughs> I meant that shit. Right. <laughs> I wasn't joking. Yeah, yeah he, he put the nigga with the crutch and everything. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> nigga went through a whole train on. I told you. I worked it. Yeah. I got verse verse twelve. Probably verse three and twelve. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, right. even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. Now, ultimately, it's because the Lord loves you, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, oh, man. Right you know? That's what it's about, man. Yeah. But, hey, that second match being said, not as he dealeth with other nations. That's it. When he pays him for bear the punishment, because he's not dealing with it. Right, Amos 3, uh, got chapter 3. Right. You got it? Three. It's Amos 3 and 1. Yeah, yeah. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right, so that's why, I'm sorry. So that's why we're getting that ass with you, you know what I mean? Because we are the children of the living power. The, the spirit bears witness, man, as you see. So the Lord is chastening us because, hey, we are his children. He doesn't care about these other people, these other nations, all right? Like the elders said, he's letting their sins pile up so he can give them that, that judgment at the end, man, which is coming very soon, all right? Because our time here is up, man. Esau's time is up as well, all right? His destruction is our salvation, man. So that's why we have to endure whatever is coming our way, man. You see? But real quick, this is Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons, for what son is he is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. All right? So, hey, man, the Lord, he's going to chasten those he loves, man. All right? And, and hey, when you come into this truth, you become a prey. All right? You become an enemy to the world. All right? You go through it. Hey, but that's our fire right now. We're going through the fire now. So what? We're not condemned with the world. You see, when the yep. famine comes, we're going to be eating, drinking, and rejoicing. But they're not. Two-thirds are going to be going through it, man. All right? Having no hope. You see? But we have that real expectation. The word of Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai, that said, my servant shall eat, drink, and rejoice. You see? But now these other people, man, two-thirds are through. They don't want to uh, hearken unto the Lord. All right? They want to trust in Esau, Edom. And strength of salvation. Here the Lord is his treasure. Hey, yeah. look at the generations of old. We're right. Trusting the Lord that was confounded. We mentioned a few already. Elijah, Bishop, yeah. 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 Hey, hey, um, Habakkuk and Daniel. Yeah. Hey, yeah. the three holy children. Yes. All trusting in the Lord. And when the time of uh, when they when they was going to receive a judgment, the Lord delivered them, man. Yeah. So same thing here in this time, man. When all hell is breaking loose, which surely is going to happen. The Lord gonna look over his people. The Lord gonna look out for his people, man. Hey, that shirt says find your balance. Hey, that's decent. That's, oh, yeah. that's good. Definitely right got to balance. Hey, the Lord deal with balancing, so I deal with that. What's that say? Extravagant? Wait. You got some more now? Uh, unbalanced. That's it. This second Maccabee 6 and verse 13. For it is a token of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffered any long time but forthwith punished. For not as with other nations whom the Lord patiently forbear to punish till they become to the fullness of their sins, so did he with us. Yep. Psalms the 30, 73rd chapter of Psalm of Asaph, he says, I was, I was, I was foolish, right. I was a beast. He said, uh, I was hideous at the prosperity of the wicked. Yep. He said, until I went into the, uh, the sanctuary of the heavenly father, then understood I therein. Yeah. Hey, Job the 21st chapter says, they got the fatness of the earth. They send their tears going forth. They eat and they dance. They go down to the grave and not a thought in the world. Right. And he was like, damn. Ultimately, the conclusion of that chapter was, ultimately, they ass end up getting destroyed. Yeah. Hey, but the end of the just is blessed. Yeah. This verse 16, it says, and therefore he never withdraw his mercy from us. Mm, from us? Yep. Yeah, Israelites, right? 
Because that's who the promises was given to, man. Yep. The Lord said, I uh, might change not, right? Yep. So why would he add other people to his promises, man? To his, come on, man, don't make no fucking sense. He would have did it in the beginning. Right, yep. right, right. He declared the end from the beginning. Yeah. He ain't saying, I'm going to let, you know, I'm going to let Ammon join me. I'm going to let Moab join me. Right. Esau join me. Right. Forgive him and they know. No, he said, 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 no, he that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, hear what the Lord is saying to you. Hmm. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Say, or, or not, and be put to death by the Lord. Huh? That's right. Yeah. Read it weak, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Out of all the people on the planet Earth, the Lord only loves these people in his sign. Thus saith the Holy Scriptures. That's right. Therefore, I will punish you. For, you, for all your iniquities. So the Lord judges who he loves, and he punished us. This second Maccabees 6 and verse 16, it says, And therefore he never withdraw of his mercy from us, and though he punished us with adversity, yet doth he never forsake his people. The end of the justice blessed. Although we going through all this hell, we yep. ain't got the riches. We at the very bottom. Hey, we got the, the curses, the reproaches, the shame on us. Hey, the Lord, hey, he's hey, he said, men shall call you the memorial of Israel. Everybody that see you shall acknowledge that you are the blessed people of the Lord. Yeah. Hey, this is gonna be the true rags to riches story. We don't got no power in this world. The Lord's gonna give us all power. And it's almost over. Fucking punishment is almost over, man. That's right. Oh yeah. Right. The, oh, yeah. the punishment of our iniquity is right. almost over, man. Pretty soon the Lord's about to put the um, Deuteronomy 30 and 7 Bible push up. Uh, the Lord's about to visit these other nations, man. Uh, right? They about to be the tail. They about to feel oh, how it feels saying. to lose children, how it feels to lose family members, right? Yep. We're gonna pack these motherfuckers up on cargo slave ships and push them all over the world. <laughs> Same way they did to us, right? We're gonna sell their sons. We're gonna sell their fucking daughters, right? We're gonna separate you white people's family members, right? Yep. You're gonna give birth to your daughter, and we're gonna stomp on your mother's head and yep. sell the fucking child. Yep. That's the type of shit we're gonna do. Yep. And oh. dash thy little ones to pieces. Pieces, yep. yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. That's the same. That's right. what y'all right. can do us. Yeah, All day, beloved. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, yep. that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. <laughs> Thou shalt be drunken and shalt. This ain't talking about a cup of latte with, with fucking <laughs> with fucking alcohol in it. No. Right, right, right. This is talking about the the cup of um the Lord's anger. Yep. Right? The slavery. The slavery, the judgment. Yep. Yeah. Says, That's a surely drink. Drink of it. Yeah, what all the drags of the dragon. Yeah. Now. Daddy said, give unto them. Double the ice. ice. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Yeah, we will never be packed on slave ships again. No, this no. is it. Right? Yep. Right. Once we, hey man, us going back in the land of Israel, there's not going to be a nation that's going to come against us no more and bring us down, man. That's right. Matter of right. fact, let's give a round of applause to you. How about Shimon Shah? Oh, Lord, Shimon Shah. 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 Yeah, we're going to praise our Lord because our Lord's about to deliver us from this fucked up situation we're in, man. That's right. Read that again, beloved. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished. Yeah, the suffering of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is almost over. Your captivity is almost over. Go ahead. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity. O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. And the funny thing is about Edom... <laughs> Lord put a spirit on Edom. Edom don't even want to know who he is. 
right, right. Edom right. don't want to touch touch the subject at all. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't right, me. Right, 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 yeah. right. Matter of fact, you niggas are Edom. That's what he. Yeah, yeah, you right. blacks, it's you're Edom. Right. Right. Everybody else, but he. Yeah. Oh, they're all oh, divided because the small caps oh, say that yeah. the Americans yeah. are the Edom, oh, like the Romans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Yeah. Uh, bro brother put it up. Uh, remember that show? Everybody hates Chris. Uh -huh. It was a scene in there. Uh, yeah. that, uh, oh, the, dude, the dude, uh, play, no, he played, no, he played uh, the young Chris Rock. And you had the wow. Edomite bully to always bully him. He just come out and called him Esau. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. On the yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good yeah. 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 episode, yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's how that's Esau, man. He won't so-called nigga to be him. Yeah. Right. He it's wants his birthright. His birthright back. His birthright back. I'm sorry, yeah. what he's place. Place. This place, yeah. Yeah. Hey, but but look, he done already did all this shit. He, man, nigga, you already got your birthright. Right. Who the right fuck more do you want? Yeah. <laughs> so you want our birthright? Yeah. Right. 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 And he had it twice because as a, the, the Greeks, the Romans, the, Roman, the rebirth yeah. of the Roman Empire. Yeah. Show you, the Lord, fair. You, yeah. you, 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 you like three times. Three oh, times. And you fucked it up three times. Three yeah. times. And you was with the Babylonians. Right. You was with other nations. Well, yeah. well, you know, you say he fucked up three times. That's why Scripps said that faith be shown to the wicked when well, he would not learn righteousness. Yep. Yep. It just ended him to be a fucking devil. Yep. You you can, can a leopard change his spots? Yeah. Hey, in no. the land Hell of no. the right, man, what are you going to do, man? Be a yeah, fucking filthy yeah. motherfucker, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 What? That's his MO. All his, his whole life, that's going to be. Yup. This Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7, and Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And hey, the Lord, just as we suffered at the hand of, hey, just as we suffered the curses, hey, fathers, hey, gone, hey, hey, being a tail end, you nations are gonna suffer, man. Oh, yeah. You saw even the self proclaimed white man, you Ishmaelites, you uh, so called Arabs, hey, you uh, hey, Moabites, you Chinese, you Ammonites, you Japanese, you Hamites, you black ass Africans, all you gonna suffer, man. Just as we suffer. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. He says, surely this is the day we have seen. We have right. devoured her. And that's all you nations. You, yeah, you, hey, go watch that movie. They, uh, everybody, uh, they clone Tyrone. Yeah, Tyrone. Tyrone. You had the damn Ishmaelite up in the gas station with a same bitch. He went in, he said, that's what you're the small head. But hey, all Jake and his lowest state get his testing experiment on, and all these other nations profiting off of it. They said, you niggas got to stay at the bottom for this earth to continue going as it is. Which right. means his rulership. That's yeah. what, pretty much what he's saying. The yeah. book of Judah. Yeah, he got to stay. Chapter. You got to be at low state and go off against your power for him to stay on top. Yeah. yeah. And, and when, you, when you look at things right around the world, um, Moab don't buy shit from Ishmael, yeah. right? He ain't buying under the bullshit that we buy from these heathens, right? He'll get some oil and some, some fucking some raw materials. Some raw materials. Yeah. But when it comes to a fucking... Some bullshit of shirt. Yeah, man. Yeah. Come on. They got their own customs of dressing. Yes, they got sir. their own clothing. Yeah. Their own food and stuff. Man, all these nations deal with their people. But us, we got to go to the enemy for the one of all things, man. Yeah. Like the brother said, that's why they, the enemy are rich. Um, Chinese food store. The laundry mat is ran by your enemy. The hair care. The 7-Eleven. The, everything, man. Yes, only thing, nigga, only thing nigga run in your neighborhood is the drugs. Oh, yeah. And even yeah, that, he don't that, that yeah. from Esau. Right, right. right. Esau to put the guns and the drugs yeah. in the community. Yeah. Well, he calls the plug. Guess what yep. Uh, yep. Uh, the clone Tyrone means? Now, of course, Esau ain't cloning humans, but he creates you niggas to be the same way. Oh, None of yeah. you different, just some pants sagging, drug dealing, you know, or yeah, he has the same shit. Yeah. He right. had a movie called Groundhog Day, then they done the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Over and over and over. Yeah, yeah. that's what the clone means. Yeah. And a lot of you niggas, you represent Tyrone when he first found out. He said, you know what? Let's Fuck ignore it. it. Ain't nothing we can do about no, it. Nothing can say, I'm yeah. done. Fuck I'm this. Done. Fuck this. Yeah, I'm finna just do what <laughs> I need to do. Uh, 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 and it's funny, you got a lot of women who are willing to fight right now, and a lot of men who don't do pussies. Yes, sir. Yep. Well, yeah, he did snap out of it at the end. Yeah, yeah. But he had, had a nigga, you see how they kept playing the nigga woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying yeah, to make her the backbone. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She rebuking him. Right. Yeah. After the white boy rebuked her. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Right, right, right. I'll get with you in a second. Yeah, Jeremiah 30 and 16. There, 
Therefore, all they that devour thee yep. shall be devoured, yep. and all thine adversaries, yep. every one of them, shall go into captivity. Yep. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, yep. and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Yep. Zechariah says Israel will possess his possessors. Isaiah 48. Zechariah says Israel will possess his possessors. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Isaiah 14. They shall uh, possess their possessors. Roughly paraphrase. Thus saith the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Nope. Verse 17. Jeremiah 30 and 17. For I will restore health unto thee, yep. and I will heal thee of thy wounds. That's the true reparation. The, the Lord is going to repair us. Right. The brother read in that Baruch earlier, and the same one that put these curses upon us, the same one going to deliver us out of them. Yep. Right? Hey, come back to your power, Israel. Yasha Allah. Yep. Saith Yahweh, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will bring the I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents uh -huh. and have mercy on his dwelling places. Yeah, and that means the Lord's gonna take us out of captivity. No, nope. hey, he's gonna free us. Yep. Hey, he said he's gonna have mercy on us. Why we have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel? That's the Lord's ultimate plan. And the city shall be built upon her own heap. It says the houses that wasn't inhabited gonna be inhabited. The vineyards yep. we didn't get to drink out of, we're gonna drink out of. You know? Yep. We ain't gonna be building shit though. You heathens are. Yep. We shall possess them as servants and handmaids. Yep. Oh, shit, you like that. possess us as servants. Yeah, yeah, we built. Hey, he, he used Jake to build this shit. All right. So that's what he gotta build us. Right, 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 right. And, and, and the Lord said, give unto them double, right? Yeah. Hey, well, y'all got some work to do. Yeah. We come out of him being slaves, it's a problem. Right. But, but it's all right for him to have slaves uh -huh. and boss you around. Yeah. Right. Man, he saw a straight bitch, man. This nigga do all these atrocities. What? Then, then when it's right. the, hey man, shit, why can't we just be equal? Why y'all gotta divide us, man? Why we all the same people? Right. Why can't we be friends, man? He saw do it, and, 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 and we not even talking about. Let's lead. Hey, we can lead a pass out the equation. He saw doing the same shit right now, man. He saw putting Jake to death right now as we speak. Oh yeah. So how is that in the past? Right. Same old goddamn joke we always had, man. With the same hatred? Yeah. He had a perpetual hatred. Uh -huh. He pursued us with the sword. Still. He still does. Yeah. It is dying, so, man. So, 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 so you, you want to take reincarnation out of yeah. the way? Right. What's changed about you? Nah, damn thing. Right. Hold yeah. on, hold on. He let us smoke guns, though. Uh, we, we, we can go get this right. same we chicken. We can adultery. Right. We got BET. Right. Yeah, more wicked. Right, right. Then, then he mad that you not pacified by the little crumbs he give you, man. I dare you. I gave you B and T in the elite car. Why would right. you turn your <laughs> back on me? What's that Glock not enough? <laughs> it literally, what you just What's said Glock crumbs. not enough. Yeah, yeah. We get, we get the crumbs of the shit. Come Everything y'all just said how, in our neighborhoods, we got these heathens. They sell us poisonous food. I remember back in the eighties and nineties. We had meat markets in the hood. That smells so like goddamn God. bad. You can smell it four blocks away, bro. Oh, yeah, you can smell and it. Jake's still yeah. going in there. Instead That's of going to the, the Jewels, it's down the street or whatever. They're going to deal with the heathen and shit, man. Because the meat was a little cheap. I ain't going to lie, but still, man. You idiots. Come on, man. No, I, I showed the words that I got you on this count. Uh, uh, there's you. a little more. Jeremiah 30 and 18 uh, in the middle. Uh, and the city uh, shall be uh, built up. Oh. And the, and the city shall be built upon her own heap, yep. and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. Now, hey, the Lord said he's going to glorify the uh, place of his feet, the place of his sanctuary. Hey, Jerusalem's going to be built up. Them damn gutter rats over there, and that white stake, and that adultery, and that pink uh, city shit. Pink. Yeah. All that shit going to get clean decimated. And we're going to come down and rule. We're going to have a glorious kingdom on the earth. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. Right. Hey, you go on the book of Tobit, man. It said Jerusalem shall be built, built up upon precious yeah. stones, yep. man. Hey, lay a hey, revelation says it's gonna be layers of, of stones, golden gates with uh different pearls and carbuckles and so forth. Yep. Hey, we got a beautiful kingdom coming, man. We stand on fucking concrete right now. My my, my kneecap hurt oh, as we yeah, speak. Come on, man. Right. Hey, it's, you know what? You know what? It's made by design yeah, staff for that matter, oh, man. So they can put you in the hospital, pay that bill, to, pay pay that bill to the doctors. And then get on the drugs they got for you, you know what I'm saying? But they'll be hooked on that shit. Be hooked on that shit. This place is designed to destruction of our people, man. Literally, man. In every aspect, from the air 
to the watch that movie they call Tyrone from the air you breathe from what you watch from what you listen to from what you eat to what you how you act is all uh what's the word weaponized to destroy you right and, and Jake think this shit is just, this is just how life is. No, right, nigga. Right, right. And, and, even, and even how your uh, neighborhoods look, man. In the hood, you got buildings that have been power washed in fucking decades, man. Yeah, that on, does man. something to your mood, man. Oh, yeah. like, Wait, the, the, the look oh, of yeah. it, it does something to your psyche. And the, and the lack of trees in there. Yeah. You know? Hey, an enemy have done this. Yeah, look, so. right. uh, what about uh, right. going through the hood and the smell of uh, piss everywhere? Rats and shit, trash everywhere. Yeah. That fuck up with your psyche too, man. Five G towers, the cave, Come on, man. Man. living house hey, to house. Look, look, yeah. when you go over here to back of the neighborhoods, I don't know if you brothers noticed the smell of the air quality over there, man. You smell nothing metal in the air, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit stinks over there, man. Hey, they put asbestos in the projects and shit, Come on, man. man. Literally, they call it projects. Not just the projects, oh, they put oh, it oh, 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 oh. recording that Proceed. 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 this way. But like I said, uh, that shit recorded. Like uh, like the brother said, asbestos and all those things that they put in our uh, fucking neighbors, they put it all over the place. Like they're important. Uh, back in the uh, like I'm gonna say late '90s, early 2000s. Like, not not early 2000s. I'm gonna say late '90s, about 2000 and not about 2001. There was always a, I had on the news about uh, lead poisoning and all these things, man. These people put this shit in your crib, lead poisoning and stuff like that. All this stuff that they talking about that's helpful. Harmful to your health. Who you think put it in the in the vicinity that you live in? It was Esau, Edom, the devil. He did all these things. He orchestrated this whole place. This is his kingdom. He orchestrated the way he wanted to be. So when you find out shit ain't right for you, you going through this, that, and the other. You suffering through some type of disease. Guess what? Esau orchestrated that shit for you. Yeah. He didn't. He the problem of it. Then sold you the cure. Yeah, it's the yeah. devil. And it's not even a cure, it's just patches it. You know? uh -huh. But it's the way that they say that. How do they say that? How they, uh, it, it's some Problem, out. cause and effect. Yeah. Order out of chaos? Cause and effect. Cause and effect. Order out of chaos. But it's three things. Cause, problem, solution, reaction. Come, 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 problem, problem, solution, and reaction. No, uh -huh. problem. Reaction, he give you a reaction, then he give you a solution. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because it's all set up. He he set it all up before he did it. Yeah, did a diligent search. Yeah, like you said, even uh, medication. So you put your medication, go back to him like, oh, something else wrong with you. You got to put, you got to put your own medication now. Right. Damn. To, to, to drop dead. Or, or he'll put you on a sword. Put you on um, one thing the pharmacists do, they'll, they'll subscribe you a bunch of prescriptions, but that's what they don't tell you how you're supposed to take them. Uh, they tell you how to take it's a toxicologist yeah, they tell you how to take you ain't supposed to take all these pills. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> kill you. you. Fuck up something in your body. You're supposed you to take different parts of these medicines at different times because right. of the release of the poison in your body, man. And why? But how would you know that? You got to go oh, to the just put a thousand pills. Come on, man. Take them no. off. Yeah. And why I, I say that? Know. Because I had an account with a fucking woman that I had to go to her crowd, the house to, to, to um, do some things for her, right? So she had a pill box. Pill box was like this big, like that wide. It was about 10 by 10. So she had all the days on the week on it. And all in all those slots, the lady had seven to eight, 10, seven to eight pills in this slot. And she said, I take every day. So she take these pills all at one time. Yeah. She pop in my mouth, drink some water, and she going about her day. And she believed that this is what's healthy for her and it's going to save her. Hey, I, I watched a video the other day, man. This dude, they claiming um, he done turn back time of age, right? Uh, the nigga wake up, he drink a fucking a little thing of um, olive Child oil, blood. right? The nigga take about 16 pills talking about this breakfast. Oh, hell I said, oh, hell no. Talk about breakfast. I got this breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> that's why that's why in this in this society uh, pharmacists have to take out the highest um, uh, insurance claims because if they give the drug the pills and people take too many pills they're gonna get fucked up man but you're supposed to have a toxicology go hard toxicology hey am I supposed to take this at what time and this time and another time all of that and pharmacists uh, taking pharmacy tech or whatever no no this Sirach chapter 38 and one. It says, honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which he may have of him, for the Lord have created him. And hey, this ain't talking about uh, the physicians of this world. Right. And hey, you are physicians of no value. Right. Hey, science falsely so called. Talking about the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and, and, and what the Lord gave. It says, for the most high come of healing, I kill, I make alive, I wound, you know, uh, I, I, I heal roughly. Yep, yep, yep. 
it says, the, it says, it's like verse 2. For if the Most High come of healing, and he shall receive honor of the king. It says, the skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in sight of great men, he shall be in admiration. It says, the Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Yeah. And hey, the Lord, he created a goodly earth. Isaiah 45, knew what he was doing. And he, he gave you the things to heal yourself. Right. The plants and the herbs. Right. You know, I, I knew a physician here, a plastic surgeon uh, here in Chicago, who was making $100,000 a month for like 40 years. Wow. And she told me herself at her old restaurant downtown uh, that the, the Eastern medicine, the, the herbs and stuff, is the way to go. Not this pharmacology stuff, you know? That's the true healing right there. But really, it's the word of the Lord, and you pray over these herbs, and you know, the Lord heals you. Oh yeah, it's ultimately the Lord, man. Yeah. You know, so you can take that all day. If the Lord won't heal you, you're gonna stay with that healing. Yeah. This is Wisdom of Solomon 16 verse 12. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. For thou hast power of life and death, thou leadest to the gates of hell and bringest up again. Yeah, even this word. Knowing this word and uh, doing the will of the Lord's best your ability, he'll get rid of a lot of them demons off. Of you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because sickness is one of them. Yeah, those sicknesses are, are just demons. You know, the Lord can remove those things. Right? This verse 6, it's like verse 9. It says, My son, in thy sickness, be not negligent, but pray unto Yahweh, and he will make thee whole. Leave off from sin and order thy hands all right. And cleanse thy heart from all wickedness. Give a sweet savor in the memorial of fine flour, and make a fat offering as not being. Then give place to the physician, for the Lord hath created him. Let him not go for thee, for thou hast need of him. As the elders are going into a first off, chief and break. No, as the word going into a that sickness that they come from. Uh, uh, it's really a demon slaying. You no, know? so they repent, come to the Lord. You know, and take the herbs and pray. And the Lord will bring you through that sickness. That's right. That's it, dude. Okay. Can you bring us up, brother? Yeah. God. Hey, so with that, we're going to give all honor and glory to. Yahweh, 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 the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Say, taste to all I can put your word with true sage with charity. Shalom, broken thumb. What a bum, 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 b